All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Today, Love Live. <laughs> <laughs> yes, volume one. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's right. Just kidding. Hey, how's, how's, how's it going, my fellow uh, uh, grassers, my mm -hmm. fellow... Uh, yep, yep. My fellow strugglers. That's right. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone doing good? And... Oh. Oh, and the camera didn't autofocus. Right. <laughs> Had to make it actually like worthwhile to hear oh, that, my. that How awful noise <laughs> coming from our. Uh, from our mouths there but uh oh man yeah wow look at that look at that oh this is that, probably, what is it actually I like like here's that. here's the thing that's really cool about it so you Ooh. see casca here right oh no i didn't and you know see that. guts I that was right else. but then you also see this 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 dark phantom here. yes but then you look above and you realize what this army is yep it's griffiths yeah. it's griffiths like dark <sighs> army as he's come to yes like, you know, take See, here's, his foothold in this world. Here's the thing. Berserk was emotionally draining enough. Yeah. Before Griffith came back. Right. And now I'm just remembering, mm -hmm. like, again, because I'd mm -hmm. kind of forgotten. I was like, okay, yeah, the whole, the whole, you yeah. know, secondary eclipse thing is over. Awesome. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, oh, right. Griffith, Griffith's back. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it will be fantastic, but, you know, I just hate him oh and God. can't stand to see him. So, yeah. Yeah. In yeah. a lot of ways, I, I think I think that it, it's something that might be holding back a little bit of your enjoyment of the story, just kind of letting the story happen instead of, like, hating every time Griffith's on screen and you stuff. See, it's just, it's all part of the grieving process, I guess. I'm still in denial, or... All right. Anger. Well, well, while he's getting over it, let's yeah. let's see everything in the chat. Says, don't you dare start early. And EU, we are already one hour earlier than usual. Well, in case y'all from outside the U.S. don't know, the U.S. is weird. The U.S. is daylight weird savings because we have daylight savings. And the I thing just is, it's, one it's an hour of your life away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not even consistent across all states. We have specific states in the U.S. that don't do daylight savings because they we have just, common sense. Yeah, yeah, we just happen to be in one of the ones that does daylight savings yep because this guy named benjamin franklin existed a while ago and decided that Curse hey this would be a good idea i mean it probably did it probably was useful for a while considering that like you know the actual daylight was like a lot had a bit more of an effect than it does now but um yeah 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 it's a bit dramatic bazaka indeed yes <clears throat> quite quite so yes i am totally okay i'm just excited yeah. <laughs> to experience more of it oh, and boy. put our grasses on but yes. uh before we do that uh make sure everything's good here uh wait someone's saying the audio, audio is desynced de what but we haven't even gotten into the kitchen yet <laughs> oh my gosh now it seems like <laughs> seems like everyone's saying it's fine uh general c pat with the 100 bits why don't we take this hour <laughs> and, and push, push it somewhere else, else. Yeah. now patrick <laughs> Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish isn't an instrument either. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, audio's fine. Yeah, it's it's just someone else's thing there. Oh, we have to look at the art before oh, every uh right. every volume now. Ooh, oh, cool. that's cool. So we got Casca and Guts and then in the field with the castle monsters, monsters approaching in the, in the swamp. Because of course we can't actually have happiness for any decent length of time. And we have Griffith yeah and his uh his, his squad army. zod and everybody although the fact that humans are being like mentioned in the same like sentence and on the same like potential level of like status as zod kind of bugs me well zod zod is you know because zod is for probably daddy. totally willing to give them a reminder of what the pecking order is right right uh -huh. yeah yeah uh Morudel with the 100 bits thank you so much just wanted to ask if you guys are uploading the rest of the berserk streams to youtube seems it 
it seems Twitch VODs are missing volumes 1 through 13, and yesterday I was rewatching a few and noticed they were missing. Yes, I am downloading them all, but we are not uploading them to YouTube. One of the things that I had been noticing more and more recently is that it is kind of a shame how lame a lot of these VODs are, just, just to throw them up there without any... Mm like any panache any speciality to we should them. we should really like get some people to like help us with the like all those things of making it so that that way we can have more flair to them yeah business meeting impromptu but yeah berserk grasses <laughs> yes. we yes. have them and we're about to put them on yeah yeah so uh before we do that <laughs> zoinks guts i think those apostle fellows are about to like eat us or something oh my gosh are you ready to put your grasses on today? i am indeed Let's all right y'all bam 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 feel no shame about shape whether change that phrase even mother will show you another way so put your grasses on nothing will be wrong there's no blame there's no fame it's up to you the choice words should be founded whatever holds you back i can i can't get it off tell me what tell me what tell me what you want i don't know why don't know why don't know why you're afraid tell me what tell me what tell me what you say i don't know why don't know why too late it's too late yeah <laughs> uh, raw booty girly man with the 100 bits thank you so much grass is now do it also do you have to deal with bears too <laughs> random question bears. i don't know oh. generalist pat with the 100 bits no but do it though your audience demands it <laughs> all right well, well yeah we'll, we'll we'll look into that yeah um and they're starting with that guy's face so yeah this uh yeah. this volume specifically volume 23 Mm -hmm. starts with the chapter winter journey part one okay so okay. just make sure you guys are all with us on that falcon of the millennium empire arc in the holy evil war chapter <clears throat> written by korborowitz family <laughs> seriously okay so snow snow and ghosts and guts and guts killing snow ghosts guts glory Ram. double pager right out the gate uh vold yt thank you so much for the follow yes. and biggie's smells thank you so much for the twitch prime biggie's sub smells yeah. all right it's page eight now oh ooh. and the detail ooh the detail whoa wait a minute Okay, okay, for a second there. You thought Casca was talking? Yeah, but... I thought Casca was talking, but, but no, it's Puck. It's Puck. Yeah. <clears throat> and killing all the snowmen. Yep. Saving guts. I mean, saving Casca. That's right. All right, page 10. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about? It's cold, huh? It's just dandy though <laughs> wait that's 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 puck yeah, i'm just dandy though i'm just dandy though <laughs> so naturally guts takes off his shirt because miro wanted to draw his rippling chest once more i mean he's got to wash it i guess yeah at some point oh casca's hungry she's okay. eating uh she's eating guts's food too yeah Swinging your sword around from dusk till dawn, even on good days. Yeah, it is hard to protect someone while you're watching over someone else, not yeah. just yourself. Yep. Yeah. That Feel sword is kind of a two-hander. All right, page 12. Okay, so he's putting some uh, some clothes on her. Yeah. That uh, mm -hmm. that brief little uh, brief little kind of look, just realizing you know how how intimate they used to be, and how that's not gonna never happen probably coming again. back probably no. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is page 12, right? Yeah, so page 13 yep. here. Wow, yeah. <sighs> all those memories, all those good times shattered. Yep. Mm -hmm. Page 14. <laughs> Never quite see, never thought I'd see Guts this heroic. Quite shocking. But I wonder if he's spreading himself too thin. <laughs> what kind of place is your homeland? Well, you see, it's a great place. <laughs> Elfheim. A utopia. Elfheim or Elfhelm? Elfheim, okay. Okay. Ooh, a floating island? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I guess floating is just a euphemism, yeah. I um, love Puck's, like, expositing face. Yes, this is the, yeah. mm, I will exposit <laughs> all the good things in yeah. Elfheim. Yes, indeed. Because it, I am an elf if it's who so is good at things, yes. Mm -hmm. If it's so dreamy, why'd you ever leave? I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> and Puck says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's page uh, 16, I believe. Well, let me double check here. The pages I keep losing track of them. See, the art is also amazing that, granted, normally Miura does not Five, want to actually share six, it with page number. 8, 10, 12, 14. No, we're on 14. So page 14. He got bored. <laughs> yep. Page 15. Hmm. Oh, good. Casca's going, getting some sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Roger. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Oh, campfire. Yeah. Yeah. All right, page 16. Their conversation. Yep. Mm hmm Oh. Oh, oh wait. Oh. A uh, spectral wolf in his yeah. dreams kind of thing. Well, because, like, they've, they've personified his rage oftentimes when he's fighting. Yeah, as, but, now as this, but now it's talking. Now it's yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a heap of raw iron. Wow. Whoa. Okay. She's no longer the warrior you knew. Just a husk. Someone else. And yet she's precious? You can continue thinking of her? Of this woman even now? Mm. Of her alone? Is she not precious only because she's the wound Griffith left? Because you want to keep feeling that pain he caused you. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Mm, mm. Yeah. That's page sixteen and seventeen. So page eighteen now. Oh, dang. Oh, she's a sacrifice, so you can continue longing for Griffith. If she's a sacrifice, there's a better wow. use for her. Oh, oh no you uh -uh, do not uh -uh. you do not speak for guts here no 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 not cool not cool page 19 stop it yeah <laughs> oh oh what the oh oh um uh uh yeah haven't those things been like have, yeah, have those we seen are these the... things before? We've seen them before, right? I don't know. I don't know, but there have been things like this. Mm -hmm. They mess, with, mess with him. Yeah, yeah. Kill it, kill it. Puck, you screwed up. Yeah. You, you done goofed, Puck. Yeah, kill them all. Kill them all. And Puck is sound asleep with one of those mm -hmm. things on his head. And it's a tiny one. It's a really tiny one. Looks like a little octopus. Like, look at it. Yeah. It was dumb to trust him. This is page 20 and 21. Okay, guts but, guts cleared them all away. Okay, that's yeah, no good. no permanent damage. Uh, Ryan H gifting a sub to Faux Bones. What a bro, Ryan! Thank you so much. Shy monkeys with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank hey. you. And General C Patton with the one hundred bits. What would Freud have to say about Dream Doggo? Probably a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just just a little bit. Incubi. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He mentioned them earlier in mm -hmm. the in the chapter here. All right, page 22. As if that could ever be. As if. Oh. Uh, that's some good art, though, on Guts. Like, oh, yeah. Just the detail and everything. 
I can really, I can really get his feelings in 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 that image, both both yes. images of his face and stuff. Yes. Oh, and then cut straight More to the next page yep. where we're dealing with ugh, the rest for the wicked ghost demon things. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because of course, twenty three. Right, page twenty four. Carving him up. Kick some butt. <laughs> <laughs> Don's around the corner. You know, Guts has been a little odd lately. Like he's more serious, kind of. He's he's got a fresh resurgence of rage to yes, let out. Yeah, seriously. Ugh. Okay, okay. Uh, what is uh, what is Casca doing? She's reaching for a rat. Oh, she sees a rat. I think scurrying around. Yeah. But like, I mean, she's. Her her mind's so gone at this point that. But is she wanting be, to eat it or what? Or what? play with it? I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, so that would be page twenty six or twenty twenty four, I believe. So then this is page twenty five. So this would be page twenty six. Okay, yeah. then the things go for Casca. Yep. He has to swarm away around cut them and, and whoa 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 guts guts why does it look like this thing is possessing you and why are you touching casca why are you oh why are you strangling casca uh this uh, thing is real this thing is actually yeah, real okay okay oh uh, okay crap so so this is basically a, a well, so, all the trauma, all the craziness, all the right. all this has basically borne its own evil monster within something. guts just because of all the craziness. It, it has to be something like that. All right, so this would be page twenty seven. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, they were okay. They were possessing him. They okay. were possessing him. Okay, crap. Gotcha. Jeez. <sighs> okay. Okay. Stop uh, it. <laughs> now, how, just, how, how, how would you say? Way. How would you say Yamaro in like a in like a Yamaro? <laughs> I can sure. do it. I can do it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like I know the meme, but like you can uh-huh. make it. You can make it really terrifying if you want to. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. So they're they're leaving, and uh, and dawn. Yeah, dawn hits finally. They get to breathe. Jeez, and guts is. Oh, and guts is scared. And oh, Casca's unconscious. Well, yeah, guts is strong. Well, right. But... I'm just worried about mm-hmm. like what knocked her unconscious. The strangling. The strangling. I think. Okay. Okay. Then she. Yeah, yeah. Then it was more just she passed out. I, uh, yeah, yeah. So she comes sure. to she comes to really quickly is my my point. Uh huh. But she's she's looking yeah, at guts and I, she's uh, scared. Uh, yeah. Uh, now we're back here again. Yeah. Damn, she's screaming. Yeah. Oh, that look in her eyes. That's oh crap. That's like the same look in Griffith's eyes when um, at a point I can't remember. When oh, it was, you're right. That's very similar. When, um, yeah. Uh, um, when in the snow? Was it in the snow when when he when he defeated him or was no? It, because Griffith didn't so. look at guts at that point, like at right, all. Right. I don't think so. But there was a point where Griffith looked at guts like that. Yes, they're doing this thing with the hair as well to make mm-hmm. it yeah. even more memorable. But yeah. Oh crap! And Casca's uh... Casca's running. Dang it! And he's just trying to protect her, but mm-hmm. now he's yeah, now he's. Yeah. Now he's a danger to her. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She bites him. He grabs her arm. Oh, crap. So. So he lets her go? Yeah, I guess. And she's just running and down a pathway. And he's kind of just following behind her at a Mm -hmm. kind of a reasonable pace. But. Right. Puck's like, well, what do we do? At this yeah. rate, she'll just get farther and farther away. 
Yeah, all that trust he built up with protecting mm-hmm. her during the Tower Conviction is ruined due to that. Yeah. Yeah, that was the evil spirits. That wasn't you. Uh... <sighs> all right, Guts. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, buddy. Yeah. Berserk. Everything's going to be Dajobu. Yeah. No, this is bad, though. Mm-hmm. If it's like this at sunset. Crap, yeah. Oh, so oh. He, he ties her up. Ties her hands and stuff. She's uh. not she's not happy about that. This is no better mm-hmm. than that witch hunt. It's pitiful. Dang. Yeah, and Puck sucks. Uh, this sucks for Puck because mm-hmm. Puck, what can he do? He Puck, like he wants to help, but he can't. Really. Right, right. Puck can't really do anything to communicate to Casca. Right, because no one can. No one can. Yeah. But he can't even like do anything special because he's, um, because he's he's an know, elf. He's, he's an elf. Yeah. But mm-hmm. but it's like you'd think that you think yeah. that there'd be something they could do if some way they could make Casca go to sleep basically you can right. carry or, her well or even carrying her else. while she's while she's conscious yeah maybe it would be better than this now that's uh we're... vacuum cleaner nose man for 300 <laughs> bits thank you so much this is the first time i've seen you live hey, usually i just watch the vods back. hashtag eu problems uh, well sure. i know what that's like yeah time zones oh. are a really fun trying to communicate with people outside the country Okay, next page. Uh, mm-hmm. He's got her tied up against a tree so that he can actually, you know, right. fight them off without having to uh, deal with her running away. Wow. that's <laughs> And then the things go for her when she's at the tree. Because they can move through things and whatnot because they're yep. ghosts. And he throws a knife, yep. kills it. It goes far beyond personal war, fighting to protect someone. It's not just about completely protecting Casca, because my death will result in her death. Yep. That's true. That's true. And this is just a montage of them traveling in different Mm -hmm. locations and stuff, having to deal with all this. Have I ever before wielded a sword so heavy? Nope. Yeah. Definitely not, Guts. Underneath a bridge. Oh, Crap. Oh, man. Now she's becoming basically a... Mm-hmm. <sighs> Damn. Wow. Yeah. And the sucky thing is, I think Puck could be really helpful here, but it seems like Maybe. he's against... He's against this treatment of Casca, so well, right, because it's the whole it's the whole debate of like keeping someone alive versus like allowing them to live, right? And you could say that in Casca's state, she's not really living anyway, anyway. But yeah, but, mm. yeah. Perhaps I was holding on to some indulgent hope. If only we could connect somehow. Oh yeah, she hates him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. This is this is just it's just heartbreaking. All right, scattered oh. time. Next page. Oh, and he's thinking back to when she smiled. Oh, oh when was that? The last time she smiled. Just going to recollect what, what page we're at here. So, yeah, we're on page uh, 43 right now. Fatigue is ruining me. I can barely protect her. Yeah, she's got animosity towards you. Mm-hmm. My license to touch her with tenderness expires. Wow. My distrust of myself spurs me on with the shot of mm-hmm. the eye of yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, uh, yep, the demon yep, yep. thing. Oh. Wow. Now it's becoming wow. a struggle just to stay near her. Right. Page 44. Yo, that art on page 44. That's... Her in the cloak, uh-huh. and them on the the grass and stuff, and yeah, that's that's the way he amazing. looks back at her. So sad. Yeah. Oh, guts just needs a break. Not that he's ever gonna get it, but it's no, he needs... doesn't get any breaks. He doesn't get any nope. breaks. This is berserk. No All right, page forty-five. Uh, what? What? Casca got away. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Guts fell asleep. Casca broke her her rope. Yeah. Um. Crap. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Crap, crap, crap. Yep, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So page forty six now. Oh, that art of him panicking, Casca. Every little, uh, every little mark. It's crazy. Okay, so we have some soldiers. And they're just sitting there, having some having some food. Okay. Oh no. Go someplace where there's food and women. Hey, who's there? And suddenly, a woman. A eating woman. Your food. Eating your food. Yep. Yeah. Well, this is going to end well. <sighs> but hey, they, they might be okay. Six four seven. All right, page forty eight. Oh, my dried meat. <laughs> what in the, a, a woman? Pilgrim clothes? Why is a pilgrim around here? I was saving that for last. Oh, I feel bad for the guy. His, his jerky got eaten so quickly. Hey, she ain't bad this broad. Oh, my God. Well, but, they're, but okay, but they're, they're not going to do anything to her. It seems like they're just... What are you? What Wait, are you talking oh, about? Oh crap. Are you okay. literally? You're not listening to their dialogue here? No, no yeah, that's sin. No, boss. She's a blessing from God for us wretched oh, thieves. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> Basically saying, look, yeah. we were just wishing upon right, a star right, okay. that a woman would fall right. in our hands. Because you can't have right. Because that's what. Well, they're scumbags. Time. They're they're thieves. Right. Yeah. And and let's be yeah, real, uh, Jacob. Medieval times is a lot more of this oh, going on I know, than we'd like I to know. admit. Yeah. That's why it's medieval, uh, you know. Yes, that's page 4849. <laughs> I'll have to thank God for this. Oh, maybe he heard heard her scream at the very yeah. least. All right, page 50. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, this this uh this inner thought process with guts is really good. I'm really glad we're getting this. Like I'm, I'm really, really glad that we're getting this. When I got her back, I thought that was everything. I was too naive. Even doing that, there was no way to yeah. wipe away the years I left her behind. There's no way to make up for all the time I left her in darkness, all the time I spent wandering, all the time I left her there alone. I've become estranged to her. So that's page fifty-one, page fifty-two, Probably. and yep, they're forcing themselves on her. Yep. And here we go. Yep, page 50. Uh, that was page um, 48, 49, 50, 51. Page 52. Oh, and it's all flashing back mm -hmm. for her as if it's the eclipse yeah, all over yeah, again. Yeah. Wow. Page 53. Alright, page 54. Jeez. Her scream. Guts heard it. Guts heard it. Oh, and he's like, Casca. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Alright. And he comes upon them all dead. Okay. A so she sword. killed them. She took one of their swords. Holy crap. Okay. And killed them all. Whoa. So, so that... Whoa. So that could mean that she's not necessarily all gone? Well, no, what it might be, what it might be, is in the same way that Guts only really has his rage keeping him uh -huh. alive. Yeah, yeah. Casca has to, Casca only has the pain basically keeping her going. Right, right. But, but the fact that she was able to kill them means that she at least remembers, even if it's subconscious. I mean, the animal inside can take... Hey, whoa, sure. that's a good well, point. Oh, the animal okay. inside. Yeah, yeah. She, she, yeah. Just, went, she, she, she just went survival uh -huh. instinct. Right. Like, this has nothing to do, I think, with her having cognitive thought, necessarily. Or, or, or like, her, her combat experience or anything like that. Well, well, that's a part of muscle memory, right? Right, exactly. So, so yeah, yeah. That, that probably came out here. Mm -hmm. But as to why, I think it's just pure survival instinct. Because what I'm hoping is that this is basically... Oh. Basically showing that Casca, the Casca that Guts remembers, is repressed, not gone. Right. right. And right. that there's a there's a possibility that maybe it could come given back. enough time and chance to heal, 
she can come back. Yes, I think that is a good good insight like, on this here as well, for sure. Uh, General SC Pat with the 100 bits. Uh, don't worry, it'll probably end with double penetration. Why'd you make that? And by that, I mean the Dragon Slayer going through both of them at once. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hey, Morodell with the 100 bits. Casca went berserk. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. We, 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 yeah, we. Yeah. Ugh. And yeah, the blood just covering her. In some ways, the blood being the thing that covers, makes her, you know, somewhat decent in this. Well. But yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but she's. Oh, uh, she's terrified. Uh huh. And then Guts sees her. Oh, and look at the look at the pain is in his eyes oh, as yeah. she lowers oh, yeah. the sword yep, at him. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. He can't even say her full name. He's just Cass. Oh. This is where I oh. want to see this animated, not really to see it, but to hear it. Mm -hmm. because i really yeah. feel like yeah uh, -huh. uh guts's voice actor in both the dub and the sub actually We're did a really good job, job here of, of, of that tortured like sound of just like yes yeah Cass, yeah uh -huh. why all right next page um wait wait a minute hold on they focused on is she bleeding from her uh I don't know. No, I think... Well, they focused on it. Mm -hmm. And he kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, that's that's going to be something we're going to have to think about, okay? Just see what, what might be going on there. So she lunges at him. Right. And before he can even do anything, he needs to deflect. So right, so he takes disarms her. Arm. her. Yeah. Yep, very quickly disarms her. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he's pinned her. Okay, okay, so she's not going to be a, a problem here. But, uh, alright, next page. Oh, crap. Crap. No, Guts. What's going on? No. Well. No, Guts, what, what are you doing? Please, 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 I... please stop right there. Don't go any further. I don't want to turn the page, Jacob. Do you want me to do it? No, no, no. I'm going to. I'm mm. just saying I just right, the, need yeah, to breathe yeah, a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The eye thing focusing on here, and they're doing like a heartbeat in his head kind of thing. Right, this right, right. seems like it's the, I, the, I don't the know. animal I don't, inside yeah, coming I... out. Oh, man. All right, next page. Okay. His eyes seem so empty and dead inside. Both of theirs do. Oh, actually, this is this is the saddest part about it. Look at the shot from this angle right here. Mm -hmm. You can tell that their eyes are even more like empty. Well, Casca's eyes are closed. But... No, no, right here, right oh, here. Okay. Look uh -huh. at this. Yeah. As he's kissing her, mm -hmm. her eyes are just, and his as well. Just they're not looking at each other. Like mm -hmm. like right, he's right, looking right. past her. She's yeah, looking yeah, yeah, past yeah. him. Uh -huh. It's like they're. Oh, oh this oh, is okay. okay. Every day okay. we stray farther from the light of God. What is this? It's... Please, please stop right here. Okay. Nope. Next page. And it looks like the beast won. She's trying to kick him. He's Come on. pinning her down. God. God. Really? No. Really? All right. Well. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Here's the uh, the demon wolf dog thing. Rip her to shreds. The way Griffith did. Oh. Okay. So this isn't even uh, just a that that wasn't even just a dream thing. No, this is there's real. there's a there's, real. There's, so okay. Guts needs some inner healing. Well, gut. Yes. Yes. But it's it's so, a mistake to think that Casca is the only one that needs right, the right, healing. Right. Right. But, yeah. And and the thing is, and and the the worst the worst part about this is yep, that it's yep. a oh, it's God. a parallel oh. to when when they first were together and <laughs> Guts had that whole flashback to um to Donovan and everything. Yep. Yep. Um. Except. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it scared him it scared him yeah and so okay but this is there's there's a literal thing like inside him now yeah like 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 all right well here we go bite and tear yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You must lose everything. Make everything food for your malice. Okay, so this is obviously in his inner world. That's not happening. Right, right, to, right, right, right. But in a in a sense, in a well, sense, yeah, she's yeah, ravaging yeah, yeah. her. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He actually jumped back. Whoa, wait, 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 hold on. So, so he's up. Uh huh. She's lying on the ground. She's crying. Yeah. He actually bit her. Uh, yeah, there's the bite mark. Uh-huh. Oh. Dang it, God. So what's Puck gonna say? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Ugh. Next page. Oh! And oh, right, yeah. Puck's Puck, not there. Puck went searching somewhere else, obviously, but Puck spies a random Isidro! <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't find it soon. It sounds... Uh, oh, looky! <laughs> And here's a Sidro, yeah. hightailing it fast. Hey, Dropey, if it ain't Dropey. <laughs> ah, Puck! Ah, I found you! <laughs> I love how he's so, like, exasperated or, like, he's been eating, like, right, links right. of uh -huh. sausage or something. He's eating ah, and I running because he probably stole that food. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's been a while. You survived? Hush, I did. And uh, again, uh, 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 for you. Uh, no, uh, you uh, here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Next page. Had hollow him, ha he, oh, oh, he, 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 dirt for he, for he, oh, oh, he, 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 eating, talking, or running. Gotta pick one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm being chased <laughs> by scoundrels right now. <laughs> Ain't the scoundrel being chased? Oh, <laughs> lame brain. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, and something just got chucked in his general direction. Oh, he stole the from stick. Serpico and. Uh, oh my God, he stole, <laughs> he stole from, from Serpico, Serpico and Farnese. <laughs> that is amazing. Serpico is a boss. That's he just awesome. chucked some kind of stick at him, and he's just like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so there are people whose uh, charge, charge for, for carrying, carrying luggage, luggage is the luggage. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, here comes Farnese. Yep. And, uh, yep. That's, uh, that's a party going on here. <laughs> Zaldrick to the 100 bits. Uh, sorry, sorry. Mordell with the 100 bits. Bad Malice Doggo. Bad. Sit down and think what you have done. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Zaldrix with the 100 bits. Honestly, nothing is more tragic than Guts being with the one he loves and not being able to have the life they both want. Manly tears. Yeah. yeah but this is not that, though. Well, this is not that, obviously. Right, because Cassie Pat wasn't even able to want that. The 100 bits. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced inner darkness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, seriously. But okay, we're getting <sighs> Serpico yep. and is And, and the Sidro. tonal shift is... Very much appreciated. Yes, I very much appreciated. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> hey, look, Farnese is uh, sweating and perspired about something that doesn't involve, involve burning, burning, and, and getting uh -huh. off on that. Wonderful. Right. This is a this is something I, I've, I've I've been waiting to see a new side mm -hmm. of this this crew here. Uh, <laughs> cut off his arm at once, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it's like, oh, she can actually see Puck. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you stole oh. from nobility. Such punishment is a matter of course. Ah, uh, yeah, ho, you can. See can you me? see me now? <laughs> and she just fades, just like uh, uh. and passes out. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> they gave each other a high five. Or wait, no, no, he did. He did the. Uh, he did the. Hold this for a second. He he did the. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> see, look oh, at right. Isidro, like really close right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice one. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's why I brought some guests. Oh, right. and so passing of now. time, mm -hmm. and here's guts. Ugh. Okay, all right. Yeah, and that all happened, and no one knows. Yeah. Yeah. Next page. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Serpico, hi. <laughs> and Gus just like, hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run from me, <laughs> Sidro. 
<laughs> Chase like a snake, bite like a snapping turtle, and gnaw like a vulture. That's my motto. <laughs> We've got a sick girl and a good for nothing. Give us a break. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh yeah, where's Casca? Oh yeah. Casca, thank goodness you're safe and she's like, mm, I don't mm -hmm. wanna I don't wanna look at you. Right. <sighs> Yeah, it's for her own safety. Mm. I mean, it is. It is, but, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, a lot has happened. That is true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, Sidro, what is this? <laughs> it's deal time. <laughs> Teach me your secrets. <laughs> and, and the, the secret secrets. secrets. <laughs> wow. Exposit all the things and so what about you two? Yeah. And completely ignores him. <laughs> then I formally recognize you as a disciple of elf dimension style. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, Puck. Yes, yes, Puck. Oh, wait, that's really new to the spine. Oh, still trying to catch me. Gotcha. <laughs> that's because you're a criminal. <laughs> what is he saying? Ferocious thief. First lesson, the thousand spike I strike. Oh my gosh. Hmm. <sighs> Farnese is still uh, mm -hmm. in a bit of an awkward place with guts. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, she's done some, some weird things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little awkward. All right, next page here. Oh, please allow us to accompany you in your travels. Holy Dang. crap. Farnese character development. Yes. Character development. She would have said a couple we are realizing ago. Farnese character development. Uh. <laughs> the character that we thought we would love and then we hated and then uh -huh. we thought we would love again, then we now hated like, more. Okay. And now we're like, oh, we're starting to like her again. Right, right, right. This is this is awesome. Uh Redemption arc begin! Thank you so much for the 100 yeah. bits. Oh man! Wow. Well, this is. Who? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh... All right, we're going to the next page. Wilderness. Re I mean, the next chapter. Wilderness reunion. Okay. Guts is just like you serious? <laughs> like, mm. Look at his face. He's just right. like really. <laughs> like yeah. And like, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh huh. What's the big idea? <laughs> Don't trust him. It's like they're suddenly revealing their hand. You're open. Whack. <laughs> hmm. I have already secularized myself and abandoned the church. And Isidro's like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is Puck saying? Pucks is saying... Uh, I don't trust you or anything that will say or, or thieves. thieves. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I want to learn a way to survive in the darkness or the light of that order does not reach from you. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Dang. Lots of people coming to guts basically saying somehow, man, we don't get it, but you've struggled. You've fought. You've survived all this. Oh. How do you do it? How do you stay sane? He's like, I'm not. I am literally losing my all semblance of yeah, sanity. Uh -huh. Like, like this yeah, is yeah. this is like this is exactly what Guts needs. He needs people around him that he can rely on mm -hmm. and in some ways like explain to them that he's weak. Like 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 that he's He's fallen apart. Yeah, at the he, scenes. Guts needs a therapist, basically. He needs a therapist, but the thing is is that knowing how Guts is He's, He's probably going to push that. these people away, you know? So, yeah, well, I mean... Hopefully not. I'd, I'd rather him open up to Puck first and no, have no, Puck be therapist. I know Puck as well, but think about Serpico for one. Sure. Like, yeah. Serpico, we got so much development on well, him yeah, recently. Well, right, because Puck is, like, too wholesome, almost. Yeah. Whereas these both these people are very messed up in their own ways. Yeah, so. and... And they might be able to understand a little bit. And they might not be able to help him, but they might be able to be a good sounding board for him. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh, maybe. All right, here we go. Next page. Okay. <laughs> Even if you confuse us by saying complicated stuff, it ain't happening. <laughs> 
I knew it! Thank I knew you. it! We need you right it's now. Sidro! Oh! You're such a good boy! I love it! Like, yes, he was basically like, wait, she said some big words like secularized uh -huh. and transcending. And the transcending. And, yeah. Like, I don't know what all that means. Right. <laughs> That's right, it's too complicated. <laughs> Uh, oh, and how are you going to pay up for what you did to Casca at the Tower of Conviction? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's true. Zaldrix with 100 bits. This is when your PCs die and the DM makes you find a reason to travel together. Right. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, yeah. If yesterday's enemies are today's friends. <laughs> First makes some damn sense. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll expel him. <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe you'd like to kowtow once for us? <laughs> Can you do that, Ms. High Pride Aristocrat? <laughs> oh my gosh. She pulls out the sword. Oh, you want to fight? Fine by me. <laughs> and she cuts off her, uh, her hair. Wow. Okay. I'm so glad she did this in front of them rather than oh, off in uh -huh. some yeah, yeah. Zuko kind of right, right. somewhere. Else, yeah, this is know? this is a very good usage of the trope. It, and it fits her character very well. And I gotta say, Farnese, we always mm -hmm. knew Farnese was was pretty and stuff, but I think there's something there's something beautiful about her showing that she's truly severing herself from right. that order. Right. And well and also the, the, the line here of this is all I can do now, someday I will make amends. And not they, at all relevant to what just happened. Right. Not right. at all. Not at all. Yeah. This is this is awesome. And I love also yeah. the emphasis of uh someday I will make amends. Like uh -huh. it's like she, you can hear right. her like biting on the word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will make yeah. amends. Yeah. And Serpico's little knowing eye of I'm uh -huh. listening to all this. Right. Like, <laughs> right. I, uh huh. <laughs> Even like Isidro can realize the gravity of her <laughs> her statements and Ooh. stuff. If you say anything else, you'll totally be a villain. <laughs> <laughs> Why do priests and nobles gotta be so drastic? Mm -hmm. uh, do what you want. Oh, that's a man that's been beaten down. He's tired. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> oh, all right then. <laughs> and I don't need payback or apologies. I've killed your comrades. We're even. Wow. But forget me showing you the, the way. way. <laughs> wow. I, okay, I gotta say, I gotta say, there's the whole religious, mm -hmm. you know, uh, themes going on with Farnese's character. Right, right. But Guts has always been one that's kind of like the agnostic that acknowledges also the darkness. Basically, <laughs> well, basically he's seen it. Well, right, but he's agnostic, I think, about the idea about the the light, basically the, the goodness sure, out right. there. Right. That there's yeah, there's the, only the 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 tangibles and there's only the yeah. the the and 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 everything every, tangible is suffering, basically. Right. Everything tangible is suffering, but at least it's familiar. And right. everything else you, is probably worse than suffering, and, and, and don't the, go near that. Right. And the way they boldly emphasize the way within question marks, mm. that's basically saying, and forget me being your new religion, your or, new, or your guide, new faith. Or, um, or even mentor, really. It's just, right. I'm, I'm a messed up person, I'm just an, like you. I'm another struggler, and I... I I, I really like that in some ways it's almost really pointed because there was the whole Catholic church stuff going on with sure. the, uh -huh. the Holy See. Back in the early days of Christianity, it was called the way. It wasn't called oh, Christianity. Uh -huh. Right, right. So back by him saying, I'm not going to show you the way, he's basically right. saying, like, mm -hmm. like, don't look for faith here. Don't look for a new kind of crutch for your, you know, you mm -hmm. know, faults here. Like I'm not gonna save you, right? Like, yeah. I, I, th I just think that's a really, that's a really cool thing for Mira to put in there. Yeah, I don't know what he wants you to learn. Do it yourself. <laughs> Thank you. It's still too soon for that. You might regret <laughs> this by tomorrow. <laughs> right? Or did you forget Seriously. how it went last time you were with me? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Like, hey, thankfully though, this dragon slayer isn't some magic item that's the only thing that can attack demons and that stuff. That is helpful. Serpico so is Serpico a could actually like yeah. kill some mm -hmm. serious like demons yep, and yep, stuff. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, sorry. Murudel with the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Isidro is the jelly to the peanut butter that keeps this 
uh, that keeps it together, that keeps is together, that is Puck. I'm sure that made sense when you typed it out, but I, well, right. I, don't, it's, I, don't, well, yeah, I get what you're trying to he's say. The, he's the equivalent of Puck, or the closest thing to Puck for a human Arnie's. being. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. I'm going with us means you won't have any more restful nights. <laughs> Isidro's all hyped about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, it's because he doesn't trust himself when he's alone, maybe? That's it, but you know what it also is? I think he's going to dump Casca with them. Right. And he's going to leave one night. Possibly. And just Casca will be left with them. Or or at the very least, he, he might stay to help them protect Casca, but then they can actually be the ones to interact with Casca. Oh, guts his thoughts. Oh. If I was alone, if it was the usual me, I'd be refusing them outright. Honestly, this time I give up. Whoa. Wow. For the first time, I'm counting on complete strangers for help. Oh, boy. I'm shuddering at my own sinisterness. Oh, yeah. guts. I'm so glad you're uh. taking this risk. I'm so glad that he's, uh. he's, he's that... Like, when we're at our lowest point, we're, we're open, open to, to the, the greatest, greatest change. change. He's willing... He's and that willing almost to, went very bad. It almost went very bad, but it's so good Started that to. at his lowest point, mm -hmm. these people, it's almost as if fate is yeah. giving him a Causality. chance. Yeah. Causality. Causality. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, then RF1, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm beaten down by my own powerlessness. When was the last time she smiled? Again, the curtain of night descends. Oh. All right. I'm loving this, guys. This is so good. This is so good. Ah. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Armies. Armies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a semi-double A semi -double pager. I think these are the or, Kushan, right? I think so. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are the Kushan. Yes, we've just yeah. never seen them so dis, Wait, see, dis, uh, disorganized. Of, of Lumias, was that where Casca grew up? I don't know. I think what they're basically saying is it that... It might just be that they called it a fiefdom, so I, like my mind immediately goes there. But. Sure. Uh, possibly. Yeah. Uh, Zaldrick to the 100 bits. Gus, guts trust complete strangers with Casca more than himself. Mira, stop hurting me. Yeah. I know, right? Okay, Ugh. here we go. New characters, new characters. Okay. So we have Midland soldiers uh, looking on at the Kushan mm -hmm. army. Uh, Lord Mule, okay. And Saritar Saritus, okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's a boy. It's a young right. a young kid, basically. Man, there's a lot of text near the spine. A lot of text near the spine, yeah. Okay, they're basically saying, does not risk it, dude. Like, yeah. I get it that they're an affront to our people, but we need to live, you know? Okay. Yeah, resistance force. Oh, yep. mm -hmm. God. Yeah, this is Griffith going uh -huh. around doing this. It's said that commanding them is our hero and savior from the Hundred Year War, the White Hawk, Count Griffith. Griffith. <laughs> but I heard that he died. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. So all the people are going to hear tales of Griffith, uh -huh. the savior, yep, 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 returning. Yep. And then they'll all band together underneath him. Right. And exactly. he'll be this unstoppable army. Yeah. And uh. of course, imagine if you were one of these regular soldiers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd be Absolutely. like, you'd be like yep. God himself mm -hmm. is looking out for us. Like, right. Like, it would. Right. Ah, uh, Okay. Next page, next page. Exercising prudence. Oh, crap. Crap. The Kushan rounded up a bunch of uh, civilians. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. All right. So go. much for prudence. They're, they're yep. charging. Here we go. Hey, you know, you know what? Mad props to this uh, to this Lord Mule yep. kid because it might be one part brave and three parts fool, but, but that's that's, that's still, okay. That's still that's still a lot to say in these dark times, you know. Yep. Having bravery. Sometimes and, you need a bit of foolishness. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, and of course he is. 
Mm -hmm. Guess who's watching from a from a hill nearby? And they don't even show his face. They just show the silhouette. Well, well, and and even there with the helmet, the helmet it's just hollow on the inside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean, Jacob. I've never liked this helmet. Like, oh, I know, like, I know. like. Like, well, because the thing is, before I was thinking, well, at least he turns into Batman. <laughs> but then he unturns from Batman, apparently, so. Oh, man. The War Demons. Oh, War Demons chapter. Oh, man. Uh, yes, we will make sure to uh, take note of the quality. Yeah. The the individual oh, yeah, nights. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well. They have the high ground, at the very least. I mean, they're not maintaining it. They're kind of just charging Suddenly, down a wild the hill. thought appears. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Kushan are uh, are ready. The war slaves. I think they're basically saying, "Send in our low, like our our militia, our people that are recruiting." Right. Yeah. Not their heavy. Uh, their heavy infantry or heavy cavalry or anything. Well, what I get the feeling is that these are captives that they've taken and basically given weapons because you know forced what they're saying to here. Fight. Well, right, yeah, the bows are the bows are pointed, so you better fight them or we'll just you know shoot you. Oh, down. yeah, and you get no defense against the archers if you're facing against foot soldiers yourself. You know they can just fire arrows into the mess right, of them exactly. anyway. Yeah, yeah, kill a lot more. Yeah, I mean there'll be some definite friendly fire though. All right, and battle is joined. Yep. I like how uh, how different the armor is on each type, and you oh, can definitely uh -huh. see where um, you know the Midland armor has its strengths and weaknesses, and their armor has its strengths and weaknesses. Like it seems like the Kushan have weaker helmets. Like they have right. chainmail. They have chainmail that comes down from it, but the 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 Midland the armor itself actually have much... plate helmets right, and you like know? visors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some of them anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. All Battle right. time. Here we go. Yep. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah, and they realize... Chainmail isn't going to stop a well, stop and, a sword. And they're not Kushan. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. specifically Midland, Midland prisoners. prisoners. Yeah. Yep. Crap. Oh. Wow. Restrict your own casualties to a minimum. Mm -hmm. Wow. The more war we wage, the more war capacity we have. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It is this strategy itself backed by fear that has made our great long-lasting campaign possible. Well, wow. Yeah. That's tactically genius and sickening. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they fire arrows anyways. Yep. 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 Called it. Called it. Yeah. I mean, it's the tactical thing to do. It is a tactical thing to do. It's 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 waging psycho psychological warfare, and it's wa waging a mathematically sound numbers right. game. Because I mean, it's not like they can really leave that spot easily because they're getting you know attacked by the other people. So, and if they you know engage in diplomacy and stuff, they can use these people as bargaining chips later. So it's a win win, yeah. and they don't have to feed you know these soldiers because they're all meant to die anyway. Oh wow! No, oh, here's sending the cavalry. In the cavalry. Yep, brilliant. Although, wait, wait, and then suddenly eyeballs pop out of the horses. Oh dang! Uh, horses are dead. Men's heads are, heads just are flying taken off, off because of because arrows. Of arrows. That's some Mononoke stuff right there. Yeah, that's some serious <laughs> Mononoke like, stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Well, oh, and from really freaking yeah. far away. Here comes Griffithu and his, uh, his, uh, what? What? All right, move, a, hard move aside. Move aside, Legolas. No, no, move this aside. Is, this is like what some is Robin this? Hood men in tight stuff right this here. Is, yeah, this is not, this is not, oh, wait, hold on. Now, he looks human, right? Yeah. Look at the people behind him. They're not human. No, like, they can totally look at be that. human. No, look at that. Well, yeah. Look at... Okay, right. But that could just be okay. like maybe some of the sick, because like the the freaking sure. torturers and stuff were yeah, apparently yeah, you're, humans. You're so. right. Yeah. But I gotta say, the ridiculousness of the bow size. I know. 
the amount of draw strength you would need to have, like to be able to the amount yeah. of strength you need to have that, to draw that's a, that. That's like a small ballista, is what it is. And he's firing five arrows at a time, like yeah, because and there's an eye on the so it's a magic item. So it doesn't miss, basically. Right, with I'm all the shots, it has, and they just take it has the heads true off. sight, basically built it, into yeah, the basically, weapon. Yeah, basically, it's just yeah. All okay. right, it's pretty cool though. Rule of cool for sure. Although the fact that they're taking the heads off is kind of funny for Berserk when it's like, when you think about that, that's something that I would normally associate with like stories that didn't want to get too violent. So they just make right. it be like, oh, the heads go flying off is like a way to sort of cheese it. Yeah. Um, but this is Berserk. They don't right. care about violence. Yeah. Oh, and here comes Griffith's uh, yep. heavy cavalry. Every they horse's do look armor pretty is terrifying. Unique. Oh, and they have huge lances. Oh, yeah. Oh crap! Here gay we go. Bulk. <laughs> yeah, gay bulk indeed. All right. And what? Am Wait. I seeing this right? Are horses leaping over, or is that all one motion? Maybe it's. I'm not sure. This art is so legit, I can't even tell. Oh no, those are bodies. Oh, those are bodies. People just lifted getting... up by yeah, the lances. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. Whoa! Wow. Oh, dang. Those helmets. Those five helmets. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. A okay. few dozen of them are routing our cavalry of 500. Don't be disturbed. Not by so few horsemen. But these are the horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, basically. Oh, and now we have a roar. I think that's Zod, Daddy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And, of course, this is all with whoa, the tactical whoa, whoa. genius of uh, <laughs> Griffith involved here. So he's probably not even engaging. He's just standing atop the... Zod's just, like, really high up there, like, oh, hey, there's a bird, and then... Whoosh, tactical Zod! <laughs> <laughs> just, that he would just be great. tucks in his wings and, wings and dives. <clears throat> the horses are panicking because of the, the roar. Oh, dang. Look how big... Look how big he is compared to the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next page. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh yeah, the, those are like those are not human. Like, look at them running on all fours. Yeah, those are like they're something. There's something. There's Zod, something. Zod's leading this group here. Uh -huh. He's dual wielding. Zod yeah. oh, is yeah. dual wielding. Oh yeah. <laughs> but look, just, he's, he's got the legit sword here. But what is this it's dookie a hammer? little hammer he's got here? Yeah. He's just uh -huh. like, ah, I'll make it. He work. just picked it up at one point. And was like, when, sure. When whatever. you have 28 strength, you know everything, everything works. Everything works. Yeah. yeah. I just love that he has a horse. Like, look at that horse. That is one of the swollest, like most roided out horses I've ever seen. It needs to be. Like, it it's carrying a big boy. It's carrying the big boy. Yeah. Oh, oh next page. Okay. He just okay. pulverizes All right. That's just everything. a little bit cool. Just a little bit. I mean, holy crap. Okay, let's get into the detail here, because look at the guys beneath him in this panel here. They're just... Being... They're, like, actually leaping off of their horses onto... Oh, no, those are the runners on the ground. Yeah, yeah, they're just trying to get out of the way, but uh, not not successfully. Hey, at least they use weapons. They don't just eat them or something. Hey, double eyeballs. Oh, and those little out. runner guy, he just clipped off the legs, the feet of the horse, the hooves. Look. Yo. The, the, oh. the, he's got the little blade things running right here. Just kind of. Just. Wow. It's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, and this guy just got like quad sectioned. Blood. Like cut into like six pieces. Oh, dang, and this guy Holy just getting crap. split in half. Wow, okay. this is some All right. art, y'all. Right. This is some battle art. <laughs> what are they? Monsters! You're yes. absolutely correct. You mustn't retreat. No enemy numbers less than 100. You call yourselves Kushan Elite? Kaboom. Yeah, and a cannon. Kaboom, indeed. Wow. Well, here comes a... Uh, whoa. Whoa, the size difference. Holy crap. This guy is 20 feet tall. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Sauron just stepped onto the battlefield. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, what? I didn't think he was this big because we'd seen I didn't him either. before. Yeah. But he seemed like he was just like Has, gut sized, you know? Maybe right? Griffiths used like his like dark magics or whatever to like mutate them or something. But 
the, just this shot. This is this, this is a mech battle right, right now. Here. Like, yeah, this is amazing. Wow. And oh, look at this. What? What even is that? It's just the blur of them just being pulverized oh, right, by right. The, the the hammer that he has there. Oh, right. But the but the idea that you can see it kind of blurred through it throughout the entire piece of art, and uh -huh. then it hits his stomach here and explodes right, right. out the exactly. back. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, and there's more of them. And they're giants. All giants. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Could these be the forces about which word was received going around liberating various posts we've taken? He, now he's he, now he's scared. Ha, run, run, run away. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next page here. Oh. And then... And then... Yeah, it's a double pager. That's a double pager. Here he is. The White Hawk. The demon himself. The bringer of <sighs> eclipses... And the most hated... All around arsehole. Uh, the most hated character, I would say, in... Like, he's probably up there as, like, most hated character in anime. You know, yeah. like... like Why people say that he did nothing wrong, I don't know. I think it's just trolling. See, the thing is, Jacob, I think that once you get him to start doing things this cool, he it's starts to get like, his own twisted whatever. fan club, yeah, you know? Uh -huh. Right, right. Here he is. Ugh. That is a really cool shot, though. Just the way he blends into all the mm -hmm. panels here. Yep, yep. Wow. And it's him in his old human form because he was incarnated through the, the right, baby. Right, right. Yeah. And carnage. Yep. Pure Just carnage. Absolute mayhem and devastation. Oh, my God. The big guy has three, three dudes on his blade. stuck on his hammer. So what the heck? Could he actually give Zod a run for his money at this point? So, yeah. Like, now I just want to see him and Zod throw down. Nah, I just want to see them throw down against Guts, you know? Oh, well, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, what I would Next okay, page, no, here, Banner of the Flying uh, Sword. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, what were you going to say? Well, what I was going to say is, and this is, of course, fan fiction, because I know Zod would never go against Griffith, but. Right. I want Zod to basically like just be like, no, I don't want to put up with all these humans that are like being brought up to my level, and then he like turns against them, and maybe Griffith, you know, punks him, and Zod has to go away. But then he ends up joining up with Guts, and then it's Guts and Zod facing off against basically Let's like throw Skull Knight in there. and Skull Knight and Skull yeah. Knight all facing off against basically medieval mechs. Oh yeah, like uh, I'm all that, on board with that. Yeah, that yeah, would be that would be awesome. double pager of Griffith riding his horse. His horse looks fabulous. The wings, yep. his new armor. It's wonderful. Follow the hawk! Oh, and and those formations. Battle oh, formations. Battle lines. Battle lines, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a magnificent arrowhead formation. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Everyone's freaking out. It's him. It's Griffith. Oh, man. <sighs> and this is basically setting him up to, yes, become the, yeah. the hero god king of uh, -huh. of, uh of yes. Midland. Yep. Yeah, indeed. Keikaku Dori, Griffith. Keikaku Dori, yes. All according to cake. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So they're going to... They're gonna help here, it seems. Whoa, wait, wait, halt. Arrows landed at them? What? Hmm? So they, they were going to charge to help, but then arrows landed in front of them, coming from another direction. Oh, he's basically saying, stay out of it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, wait, 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 who is that? Uh, isn't that, er, or no, that's not the archer no. guy. No. Oh, wait, is it? Yes, it is. Well, yes, it, it is the archer guy. Maybe? I think it is. Let me go back and check. I think I think for sure it's the archer guy. The helmet is too... No, it's not. Yeah, it's something different. Please don't tell me that's Rickard or something. That would be... No. No. It's not Rickard. The life force blanketing a battlefield is in constant fluctuation, like blood that flows and stagnates. Yeah, it's quite a sight to see a battle from that height. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at the formations and... Uh. Holy crap. 
wow, what is this talk about vectors and stuff? Our life, our opening lies along a direct vector. Its vertex is the heart of the enemy's will. And then Griffith literally just flies over the enemy with his horse. Yep. Because he, why he not? Flew. He's going straight to the uh, to the commander. Whoa! <laughs> Forces protect me. <laughs> and then the half shot of yep. Griffith's mm -hmm. helmet. Yep, yep. The hawk eye. Oh! And his head is off. Whoa! All right. And it just pops to the ground. He's just too shocked to even. <laughs> the general's dead. What? <laughs> I've killed the leader. Finish off the rest of them. And with the head down. <laughs> run away! <laughs> retreat! Retreat! retreat. And wow. yep, they've been broken. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. And Griffith in all his glorious angelic beauty mm -hmm. striking a new hope into midlands common folk that don't realize they're probably all being led freight for another grand ruse of yeah some who kind. knows who knows Ugh. okay all right <laughs> hey baki raka's report is you know yeah. oh. now given a lot more validity yeah yeah <laughs> I must hurry back to headquarters. All right, random, random Kushan uh, leader guy is going to be relevant later. It's good, good, good. Oh, and they're trying oh. to flee, but no. Uh, we have There's creatures. There's monsters in those woods. Yes, quite indeed. Uh, well, no escape. And oh, what the heck is that thing? What the heck is that mask like? Like that's like I, some I don't evil. That's like some evil anymore. Majora's mask. Like I, it's it's just weird you know, more of thing. what we've seen. Yeah. Wait and, a minute. No, this is the this is the one that joined them. Remember? The oh, one, oh, right. Yeah, Duh. yeah. It was the one that was cloaked yes, and everything, yes, yes. and it had like this. Uh, you know. So it's kinda, so it's basically leading the um the, the assassin the other cleanup crew. Yeah, the the mm -hmm. apostle f portion of Griffith's yeah, army. Yeah. Yeah, completely forgot about him for a second there. Yeah, and then, then they just, okay. Okay, well. All right, well, yeah. Lovely. They're mm -hmm. dead. And they all make camp. That is gorgeous artwork yeah, of the campsite. The like, holy crap. Yeah, and the lake and the sun in the distance of the clouds and the cliffs and, yeah. Oh, and they show the citizens all being excited and happy, happy and again. celebrating. Mm -hmm. And so basically a recreation of the recreation of the band of the hawk in a really oh, sick, sure. sick way it is you know or just the idea that it's yeah yeah right yeah griffith's here everything is daijobu yeah oh this was the girl that uh -huh. was at the yeah 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 we can all smile because we have lord griffith oh she was the one that at the um uh yeah she was the one that in was the, in the previous volume well, yeah, she was in the one in the previous volume, but I think she was also the one at the. She was also this one oh, here at the horses, gotcha. the one we thought was when the one I thought was Rickert. Okay, so that does yeah. that does me a lot of good though that it's not Rickert because. Welcome to the band of the Hawks. She said it, Jacob. Crap. Crap. Named after that legendary band of the hawk. With the hawk in command. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Everyone asked Lord Griffith to name it so. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, Zoman775, thank you so much for the follow. All right. You want to meet him, don't you? Meet Lord Griffith. There's this little thing right here where he's like, don't tell me she read my mind. Right, and it's like, and she's making all these statements about what he wants and stuff, and it's like, um... Uh, uh is she is she weird, too? Well, uh, she's definitely weird. Uh, the question is, is like, how much? How much weird, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wings of Light and Darkness, next chapter. Okay. So... Fighting Many spirit. battles. 
Um, wait, are they practicing? Yeah, they're practicing. Oh, gotcha. Okay, they're drilling and everything. Yeah. Wow. All right. Ugh. Okay. Dang. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah, they're okay. they're training them to ride on horses and prepping an army. Wow. Okay, next page. And they have someone from a from Kushan. From, yeah, I think a Kushan. Yeah, specifically helping with yeah. the horses and stuff. <laughs> Those aren't Kushan, are they? That's right. What do you mean, that's right? They aren't now. <laughs> Stop shouting, all right? They're pledges. Oh. Oh, this big guy. Although in their empire, they would apparently be called war slaves. Wow, this is straight up like, okay. Hmm. Uh, yep. Who's uh, Dracula here, you know? Mm -hmm. Seriously. This bizarre overpowering sense... It's like I'm being stared down by some huge beast. Well, because you are! Yeah, I, yeah. I wonder what gave you that impression. Yeah. Ooh, dialogue time. Here we go. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. So they pledge themselves in exchange for basically survival. Mm -hmm. And then based on their performance, they can find a free life out of that. Right. Gotcha. We have, we have an army that learned from the Kushan and refined itself. We're going to make use of fear and incentive. Dang. Oh, and the Kushan are, you know, a bunch of vassal right, states right. conquered, so they don't have any single unifying... Like, group loyalty. Exactly. Okay. Jeez, the callousness with him talking about the way that we can mm -hmm. reduce the risk of betrayal by yeah, yeah. piling up the corpses on our side, right. front lines via these uh -huh. army slaves. It's like, what the heck? Yep. Huh, Zodrix of the 100 bits. I've got to ask, why is emo Weird Al in the band of the hawk? <laughs> it is an emo Weird Basically. Al. I just, I just yeah. noticed that. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is a very good point. Good grief. Okay. I see your logic, but I can't abide it. You'll adjust. <laughs> wow. Right. Uh. Though two people hold a grudge, in the end, they are the same. Human. <laughs> Sir Locus. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember when they introduced Sir Locus. He's in charge of new recruits. <laughs> you don't mean the Moonlight Knight, Locus. Okay. So many characters. I know we've been introduced to him before, but we never got like detailed characterization on him. He's the mightiest knight, boasting an undefeated record. Oh, okay. Okay, so he was a... He was a, a knight of the tourney, essentially. Right. Oh, but he did he did have battles and stuff as well. <laughs> I yeah. think that there are some things that will surprise you even further. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sonia, you're creepy. You're really creepy. Mm-hmm. Uh now why is she leading him over here? Yeah. It's dim in here. Watch your step. Are you all right? Hmm. Who is this girl? She can see through the darkness. Should I hold your hand? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. She's creepy. All right. Next page. Oh, and now here's the uh, here's the creepy creatures and stuff. Oh boy. Yeah. She's just walking into their midst like it's nothing. Uh -huh. Oh boy. oh boy. Danger, oh boy. danger, Will Robinson. Yep. yep. This yep. is. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is no, where the wolves no, no. are. This is the. Yeah. Just look at. 
look at the look at the shadows mm-hmm. and the way there's so many of them that he's just suddenly upon them. That's how dark it is, and he's right, right. not uh-huh. seeing it, just not aware. Yep, and just suddenly becoming aware. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, these are the war demons. Gotcha. Okay. Well then. <laughs> His face is so perfect just to show how like I I'm not okay with this. I, I shouldn't wanna, be. I want to go, but you yeah. can also tell he's like I'm probably the safest I could be by walking with her. Right, exactly. Like if I turn and split and run, they'll just eat me. Yeah. Yeah. Because look right here. You see the group of them like huddled around and, something like, here, whispering and stuff, and it's like he can tell that it's like they're basically saying he looks tasty. If she, yeah, if he ever leaves the the girl, we'll just eat him. Oh, and oh, they're, they're eating people. Okay, they're eating people. Yeah, and he's just like, <gasps> that's much better than before. Earlier they were eating Kushan prisoners. Uh oh, and one of them just grabbed Grab Sonia. Her. Yeah. You've come here alone again, girl. I'm not alone. Now put me down. Aren't you scared of us? You're an odd one. Just put me down already. Yeah, and then one just grabs him. Uh, crap. And... Uh, uh... I'll tell on you to Lord Griffith right here and now. (laughs) He's like, "Eh, he... (laughs) Oh, is this uh, is this g- giant dragon knight boy? Well, something just grabbed his little yeah, arm uh-huh. and was just like, <laughs> crunch. <laughs> Guys, Rick TV with the one hundred bits. Meats back on the menu, boys. Yeah, basically, they look like orcs. Oh yeah, it is. Grunbeld. Grunbeld. Oh, and he crunched his arm. He crunched his arm. Yep. Ow. And he dropped her. And she didn't land oh, on her head. That arrow was, that was the good. Arm. Irvine. Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. Or Irvine. Uh, Irvine. Irvine, oh. Irvine. yeah. Okay, he's cool. He's cool. Yeah. Jeez. Just the size of him uh-huh. being a giant, you know? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, holy crap. Well, okay, there we're looking out for them. These are guests of our master. Touch them and you will have to deal with me. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a joke. Okay. I was just playing. I, I dislike, dislike jokes. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy already. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Zaldrick's the 100 bits. Chats wants you to know they were eating a deer, not a person. Oh, oh okay. okay. Gotcha. Hence why they said it was oh, before I'm, they were I'm eating. Dumb. I'm dumb. The prisoners. head's right there. Oh, yeah. Well, the head was right there. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. The thing is, is that the the heads of all the creatures start to blend together. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, I just need to look a little bit closer. We'll do it a little slower. Sorry, sorry, yeah. chat. Okay. <laughs> Grunbelt. <laughs> so this kid is basically here to give exposition about the right. Exactly. And to be the audience also. Mm-hmm. Okay. So giants are a thing. We just didn't know about them from before. Right. Oh. So when a tutor or tutor in the manga so uh, invaded, he, he really he, is a the dragon knight. He is basically also a a three hundred kind of character. Uh-huh, who yeah, yeah. Held off an empire with only three thousand men. Oh, he has red hair. Oh, I definitely would love to see him animated. Yep. The great flame dragon, because of his cannon. Oh, could have sworn he heard he died in battle. Maybe they've been... Apparently not. Maybe fate has deigned their lives to be uh, uh, more valuable uh, nowadays. Hmm, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thanks, Sir Grunbelt. Not at all. <laughs> but you are defenseless, Miss Sonia. Yo, you are the Hawks medium. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Y'all know what a medium is, the right? The one who talks to the dead. Yes, yes. But the primary thing is that they relay messages through... Um, spirits. Yes, spirits. And uh-huh. in that respect, her telepathy 
is probably was, something along is, those lines. Is yeah, probably yeah, yeah. something uh-huh. along the lines uh-huh. of being able to communicate beyond the physical. And therefore, uh-huh. she can probably see into the hearts of people and... Ugh, mm-hmm. That's freaky. What use would a guardian be against war demons? Ugh. <laughs> the next time you come here, please inform me. Okay. Ugh. The next time... I'll bring you a corpse. Oh, next time I'll bring you a corpse. Our secret. Really? I like a woman. Miss Sonia. <laughs> wow. Wow, they're trying to make humor out of this. Uh-huh. Like, like that was one of his, like, uh, move along, please. Right, you're not supposed to do that. Yep. Are, are they human? Uh, uh, you'll understand okay. eventually. Oh, I, all right. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Hmm. Oh, when compared yeah. to that bunch, the Kushan definitely do seem a lot more similar to us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, something's fundamentally different. <laughs> a unilateral fear of the unknown. This guy's very well read, being a lord's son. I, mm-hmm. I believe he was a lord's son, right? Or just and then Zod's lord. just standing there. Yep, Zod. Yep. Zod. Just Zod. being he's... awesome. Mm-hmm. Here he is, big boy, with all his thick muscles and massive sword. And furs, yeah. Dang, he, he looks good, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just awesome. Like, <laughs> just, just, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I have brought Lord Griffith's guest. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Oh my god. He's got spirits okay. and stuff hovering right. around Griffith. Okay. And he's on a little throne of a yeah. dead tree, basically. Something. The Night of Falling Stars. Okay. Hmm. They're the ones who died in battle today. In the twilight after battle, they, gra- they gather around Lord Griffith. Like seeking redemption or something. Like well, just... or well, what it makes me think of is uh, the brand, but oh, like the reverse of sure. it, kind of. You know. Sure. Okay. <sighs> oh, double pager of yeah, Griffith. Okay, that's a double pager. Right. Griff. That, that, that's some pretty awesome looking art right there. And in a lot of ways, this art is actually seemingly really simple. Well, and and at the same time, Griffith seems like the worst part of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like, it's like the accents along the edges and stuff, mm-hmm. but... It's ugh. totally different style. Yeah. Very, yeah, otherworldly and creepy. <laughs> the dead? Souls? They're pretty. And he's just like, yeah, yeah I'm feeling very uncomfortable. Oh, oh, and everyone's just worshiping, basically. Well, I think it's, I think it's not only, not only that, but uh, it's their, gotcha. say, their way of saying Yeah, goodbye. Farewell. Yeah. Kindred and lovers of the dead. Mm-hmm. Hey, where's Dad? Whoa. Holy crap. Whoa, and Griffith can give them a way to communicate wow. beyond death with them. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's basically coming in like a god. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. All right. Well, oh, dang. All right. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Zod exists. Caleb and Jacob, that's the best panel yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man now all the spirits Whoa. leave and then the stars come back yep whoa lord griffith uh. Uh. i love that this kid lord mule uh-huh. has still maintained his skepticism of just all like, this time this is this is not right this is not right yeah yeah uh-huh <laughs> Anana Mus, thank you so much for the hundred bits. How have you guys enjoyed watching Griffith do nothing wrong and bringing forth the dead? Mm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, mm. yeah, he's he's totally a great guy, very upstanding uh, gentleman. Mm-hmm. All right, okay, and she's uh, very happy to please Griffith here. It's like with you here, my power gets a lot stronger, Lord Griffith. That cluster of lights. Uh, where exactly oh, that him, that did they lights. go? To where they will become one. 
<laughs> Become one. Where is that? Heaven or else? <sighs> Someday you'll know. That time comes for everyone. Yeah. I love... Okay, here's the thing. This is creepy, but I love that they're having Griffith explain nothing and having him talk to children. Because here's the thing. Children, in this case, Sonia, mm -hmm. for instance, she's bought in and drunk the Kool-Aid. Yes. She's got her powers or what have you. But it's real. Her uh -huh. abilities are real. Like, yes. everything about this is just real. Yep, this yep, is yep. happening. Mm -hmm. And still, and still, a child who's, for all intents and purposes, Lord Mule, is, I would say, way more experienced in terms of life because he's, you know, had the opportunities to be sure. educated and all this uh -huh. stuff. He is looking at the supernatural at this crazy stuff He's like, and he is um, he is like yeah i'm not so sure about this it's yeah. impressive to say the least well right but he's that, also seen all the other stuff he's he, seen the yeah, yeah i think yeah. it's more that it confuses him because he sees this the hero the, the, the legend juxtaposed with all the madness yeah and yeah. he's just trying to make sense of it all but the thing is that i think oh, most boy. people would either get scared and run and He's maintained his calm for, yes, for a yes, lot of it. Yes, that is, that is very admirable. And he's also not gone so curious that he's just drinking up everything that... You know, I think what he saw in the forest him. helped with that, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Ah, greetings, yes. I am Griffith. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yep, this is... This is the White Hawk, mm -hmm. yep. Oh, there it is. I am Mule, yeah. Wolf Flame, youngest son of the Lord Lumius of Val... Of Lumius, Valagir Wolf Flame. And he's doing the the professional thing. Right, you right. Know. Mm -hmm. I have gratitude, you know, words cannot express. And Griffith, Griffith thanks him. Hmm. The provisions you delivered will allow us to fight for several months. That voice sounds invigorating. As a warrior, I'd imagine him to be a muscular, good looking man. But he doesn't seem like a man or even human. But that aside, what is this? These oh. feelings that rose up just as I set eyes on him. The swelling up of oh my god, he's crying. Whoa, this yeah. is this is like the opposite of Johan. Right. It's the creepy aspect of someone mm -hmm. sending out this like this thing that stirs yeah, yeah. up their uh -huh. empathy. It's not like Griffith has necessarily empathy. It's that he's awakening their like Right. You know, he's putting on a good show. He's putting on a great show. Yeah. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Please accept this sword. Oh, it's like he's compelled. Yeah. It's like he's compelled to serve. Dang. Uh -huh. There's now, a how voice. Much an inescapable emboldening voice saying this is destiny wow how much you want to bet that's griffith's direct influence like well i think i think also what is is that griffith's aura like the, the right. presence of exactly. being near him yeah, yeah 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 gives off all that it's i think it's the same thing in a in a fantasy story of what it is of for, what is for when you're around Johan, yeah, yeah, but yeah. in the positive yeah. sense of you want to be with him you want right, to serve right, him right. you want to do everything he says but the idea of having a voice saying this is destiny have that you ever seems very specific it seems very specific but have you ever had a moment in life where you realize that an opportunity was in front of you and yes. a voice basically inside you not a literal voice but basically a feeling was like wait it's take not it. a literal voice for you <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> basically said this opportunity take right. it uh -huh. go 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 quick right right uh-huh like like yep. that yep. that i've totally experienced so a I, charisma of one billion <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh Morodell with the 100 bits. Those lights, where'd they go indeed? Also, a straight mind. Suddenly, Zod appears. I think I'm gay now. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's a... Uh... seeing this. Oh. <laughs> they, oh trying to assassinate him. Trying to say Griffith. Quiet. And... You, must you mustn't spoil the moment. moment. And for some <laughs> reason... <laughs> like, look at the... <laughs> Yes, yeah. and just, Zod's just like. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Zod. I, I I imagine this this guy having a voice like um uh um Cole the face stealer. Oh my! You mustn't spoil the moment. Quiet. Wait, so now. so so Jacob and I watched the Dragon Prince season. I haven't uh, seen season two. No, no, two yet. you haven't seen it yet. I know. There's a know. guy yeah. in there You've, that yeah. has the voice of Cole. He's like, I'm very excited. Tell me, how may I serve you? 
Yeah, it's. Do so you think you think that's voice. how his voice would sound? Yeah, or or its voice would sound. Uh-huh. Yep. I think that its voice would be actually more along the lines of a whisper. That's way more sinister. It's like quiet. Quiet. You mustn't spoil this moment. Okay. And yeah, yeah. Instead of being so. Oh, <laughs> but okay but Zod just sort of is there and sort of <laughs> Zod just up. like aware <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay I get the feeling Zod like doesn't trust these guys he's like these are a bunch of newcomers you know right right Zod looks out for himself pretty well oh wait wait hold on I had set before myself it wasn't merely another war to be recorded in history perhaps, perhaps it belonged to the domain, domain of, of legend, legend. Whoa. That, that, okay, that, that double is a pager. great double pager. Like, and what I love about it is it blacks out both Griffith and the, and the kids. Sonya lady. Sonya and so, Noel. you yeah. know, you can kind of forget how much I, like, I can kind of forget my hatred for a mm-hmm. second because this is amazing. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. And it's probably one of the most simplistic, you know, pieces of art yeah. for a double pager. Like, like of all the double pagers we got, this one is very wow. simple, but it, it communicates so much. Minimalist approach. Minimalist Less is more. Oh. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Back to uh back to guts and uh the the, the, right. the squad. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming out, Isidro. Got it. Lady Farnese, please do not let that fire die. I, I know that. that. And I love fire, so don't you worry. <laughs> and Farnese is <laughs> taking care of Casca. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> Here they come. Okay, the party succeeded on their perception checks when they went to right. take a long rest. That's good. Everyone Bring was it working on, up. Bog zombies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, was that was that Puck making I think, that? I think that was a Sidro or maybe Puck. Because I don't think Guts would say that. Oh, no, definitely not. It would, it would be one of those two. Wait, it actually might be. Because here we have Guts saying, here no. they come. No. And then it continues here, maybe. But, like, Puck's there and Isidro's there, I think. Eh, possibly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Guts <laughs> doesn't seem like the type that would yell yeah. out something like that. This is, just, this is just another day for him. Oh, look at that picture of him. Okay, all. Look that's at that awesome. Art. That's awesome. That detail. Now you shall teach them the power of the Elf Dimension style. No, I shan't. <laughs> and you got a Sidro dual wielding. That's good. Yep. I like how the uh, the fire oh. is like a like it's a smoke, primarily kind of faded yeah. thing behind them. And Isidro is nervous. Oh wait. Oh, or is this a time skip? His clothes are all ragged now. Uh, this might be... they're, they're clean and you know everything here. And then yeah, they're... this might be him training beforehand. Because oh, then gotcha. we have a goofy look from Isidro and Puck. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like after the night was over, kind of a thing. Yep, yep. Ah! Okay. <laughs> He's training with guts. <laughs> wow. Mm, good. I, I am obliged. Oh, so Serpico can cook. Yeah, yeah. Serpico knows how to make the uh, uh-huh. food and stuff. He's yes, basically yes. just like the person that is too good for Farnese. And, you know, he does so many things that she doesn't appreciate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Salo goes with the 250 bits. Before you start the next chapter, would you be so kind to maybe talk a bit about the new Band of the Hawk and compare it with a bit with the original one? Absolutely. Oh, so, Absolutely. Uh, not, I think not, they were not... saying before we start this chapter. Oh, start the new chapter, not the yeah, new yeah. volume. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, yes. New Band of the Hawk. I mean, it makes sense. Griff is playing a very good game, you know. He's uh, segmenting and, his forces, I right. would say. So he has the the yeah. Midland people that don't mm-hmm. realize how they're winning these battles. Right. And here's here's the one thing I will say that that is kind of like the closest thing I'll probably ever get to the Griffith did nothing wrong camp mm-hmm. is that if he is doing enough of an effective lie, basically, yes. to make it all look nice yeah. for the utilitarian purposes that come with that, right. of having a stable populace that will follow him, yes. where does the line get drawn between doing it as a lie and yes. it just being him doing good things, right? Yes, I think because, that's what they're moving towards. Right, because if he's doing a good enough job of sort of deceiving everybody, could it eventually just become him doing good stuff like yeah i think that eventually it will that's going to be the huge contradiction is that we know right exactly. we know his nature yeah we, we we maybe don't know everything about his nature but we know a lot of where it's been and a right, lot of exactly. what he's done we know he's a bad dude 
So, but they, but, they're but going he's to, going to do a lot of good for his own selfish ends, or or just for the ends by which we don't really know. Because right. if he ends up basically freeing the people of Midland and bringing them to a place mm-hmm. that's you know, uh, I, I I just just say just overall better than they were before. Because there was plague, there was all kinds of craziness going on, and now he's basically saying, I'm going to merge the the darkness of right. the world and mm-hmm. the light of the world together as one and we will all you know forge ahead a new world and create you know a better place for us and i will be the king of this new world it's like yeah. hmm but to right. what end because you're still a member of the god hand right well and and maybe okay maybe it's something where he's basically saying the god hand are short-sighted this this is something that I could see as being kind he's of interesting. Be independent a little bit. Yeah, basically he's like, I'm gonna do my own thing. You guys are doing your whole thing of you know, ooh, we are in our own dimension and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But what's the point? You know, at that point, like like it's kind of like, well, is Griffith in that dimension simultaneously as he's in this one? Since this is an incarnation, well, hopefully not, because hope the 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 hope is that since he's in this dimension, he can actually be killed, and hopefully when he gets killed, he dies. Okay, so, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he's not, and say that he's not. He's got he's like a lich. He's got a phylactery up in the sure. up in the other dimension. Uh-huh. He's got some way by which if he dies here, he doesn't die right. when he gets killed. Yeah, maybe the this problem, is just some projection of himself. Right. And but what something. I would say would be though is that the illusion would be broken, maybe. And he wouldn't ever be able to be incarnated in the same way sure, without some this massive was, cost. Right, this is extenuating with it. circumstances that let right. him come over here. Yeah. And if he's locked away in some other dimension where he can't do much, mm-hmm. it's kind of like he's gone. Now he still is able to do things, you know. Like, yeah. But the, the yeah. crazy thing, though, is that if he ever was killed, you know, in mm-hmm. this in this form here, I think what they're trying to bring up as a very big point here is that. Griffith is a single point of failure for this weird new band of the Hawk. If Griffith yes. wasn't here, everything would go into chaos and they yep. would eat each other and or, or just madness. leave. Like or just leave. Like like the big the big dudes would probably just leave, but then there'd be the the demon the, the war demons. The war demons that would eat everyone else. Basically. Right, right, exactly. So yeah. in some ways Griffith is going to be the the bomb mm-hmm. and the the I don't know the sword. I guess right. you know, he's going to be the thing that gives and takes, right? And one has the, both the carrot and yeah. the stick. You know? One of the things that I'm curious about is the new characters that have been introduced. Mm-hmm. They're badasses, right? I get that. Grunbeld, for instance, he's one of the ones though where I'm wondering. Okay, he's a giant. Like they even said the whole giant thing. He was yeah. standing way taller than horses and everything. Like he, in my mind, shouldn't be human. Now, he doesn't have to be an apostle necessarily. No, like, you know, we know he's a but, giant. Right, right, exactly. But the idea is that there is something fundamentally different about him. But And maybe it's because of that that he's able to sort of like fit in amongst the war demons and be like, yeah, okay, you know, other weird things, right? Sure. You know, because he has a different perspective in that way. Yeah. Um, but I'm really interested to see what they do with him specifically because his personality so far seems a bit more interesting. Okay. Let's get back to the reading here. Yeah. So Serpy, go try to use Fox Marrow. Hmm. You do good work, Serpy. <laughs> Serpy. Okay. Uh, think a little. At your height, what'll happen if you use an overhead strike against an adult? Mm. I ain't got much time. I'll teach you the basics and spar with you, but the rest is up to you. <laughs> do you want to get good at killing? First, use your head and think for yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is great. Just. The idea that they're teaching him and stuff. Or that he's teaching him. I want to season it a bit more, but we are starting to run out. Yeah, you're likely going to need salt after exertion. (laughs) Wait. Dropy? Food's almost ready, so go call Farney and Keska. They're gathering firewood over there. (laughs) You guys have sure gotten domesticated. (laughs) Yeah, Puck and Sir Picard just getting along. Go do it yourself. Oh, fine. Oh, Casca just tossing up leaves. Oh. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, this is sweet. <laughs> Mushrooms, I found them oh. earlier. These are poisonous, you can't eat them. This one's uh, a warataki. 
Not to worry, I will take over. That was a close call. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay. So they're cleaning out uh, their clothes or whatever, mm -hmm. but then tore up, I guess, his shirt. <laughs> right. In the cleaning process. And now back to fighting. Back to fighting. <laughs> she accidentally hit his butt with the torch. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Puck's just like, he's on fire. Why am I the only one? What are you doing? Forget it. You just concentrate on Casca and the fire. Right, and Farnese realizes just how much he cares about Casca. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh. oh, I'm truly useless, and it's laughable. Wow. Wow. Hey, gotta start somewhere. Gotta realize the problem and be aware of it before you can fix the problem. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can suddenly make believe that I'm a maidservant, but all I can do is gather firewood and babysit. Oh, the idea that because she'd be with him, something would change? Right, she would suddenly rise to the occasion or something, yeah. But just the idea that <sighs> um, being with Guts might give you the the fire oh. of being a struggler you know yeah yeah and now but, she's trying to apologize to casca well and uh, oh oh and the idea that she just ends up playing with casca yeah and, and what if yeah and and the thing is in a lot oh, of ways that's that the way so to, good that's the way to connect with her because if she yeah. has the mind of a child right now then well you know kids yeah. like to play yeah because that's probably the closest so thing small jeez wow that's good. This is good. Like, that's probably the closest thing Casca will get to, like, happiness. Oh, wait. Uh. There's a rabbit, and she's uh -huh. like, oh, I'm going to grab the rabbit. But. And Casca's, Casca's gone. Casca's gone. Wow. Oh, Crap. Boy. Crap. Yep. I mean, no. Farnie, Farnie, she's trying to be helpful, but, but okay. Yeah, yeah, so, I know. She's panicking uh -huh, now. Uh -huh. Crap, Casca's gone. Yep. No. Yep. And it's nighttime, which no means way. the oh, demon things seriously? are coming out. All right, well, now these wolves or whatever are looking at her. Crap, crap. And she's lost. Oh. This just gets worse and worse. And, I mean, she can't take care of herself even, really, so... Oh. Hey, now she's terrified. Okay. All right. Wait, wait, what is that? Um, See that little image there? It's the rabbit and her, like, underneath a blanket of some kind in yeah. her imagination. I guess. Just cower, cower and be small. Oh, like the rabbit, basically. She's oh, seeing herself gotcha. like the rabbit, I yeah. see. Yeah. Good insight. Oh, Puck found her. Oh. Oh, everyone found her. She was hiding underneath the tree. Oh. Oh, Casca went back. Dang. Huh. <gasps> Oh. oh, yeah, Casca's all right. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah more or less. <laughs> Hunger brought her back right before supper. But just the, oh. And now he can finally sleep, and Isidro and Casca both yawning. Oh. Um, and then Guts. Oh, and they're going to be this, they're going to be this awkward, awkward family now, uh. you know? Like, it's all it's all working out, you know. Like well, it, kind it was, of, I, I know, but maybe, it kind of it yeah. kind of had that thing where the basically Berserk was like, it Time could to get, get dark, right, right, and horrible. But then and it's then, like, and no, then no, it did. It happened, and it was it's, over. It's, it's and okay. Over and, it was okay. Yeah, guts just turns around, doesn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cost us so much time. What do we do if the babysitter goes missing? Oh. No, oh. oh, she's gonna talk to Serpico. Good, yep. good. <laughs> he's just like I'm a burden. He I'm drops a burden. it. <laughs> he's just like uh, what? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. 
Shall, Shall we, we go, go back? back to the holy city? Oh, okay. He's trying to see how much she wants uh -huh. this to yeah, stay yeah. here and stuff. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, and her just looking out at the, the horizon. I never said that. <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to go back. For the first time, I'm discovering myself. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and Serpico with his, like, quiet, uh -huh. just like, hmm, yeah, yeah. I acknowledge what you say, and I will take that in. Yes. Well, and the thing is, is, all this was, like, probably in her head, you know, but yeah. it's just that I never said that. It's like, right, hmm. right. Hmm. Oh. All right, we're back to the squad moving along. Okay, we got a... Uh, we got a guy, uh, a sheep herder, it looks like, or a goat herder. Yeah, sheep herder, giving them some uh, directions. Casca's making sheep noises. Is Casca making bah, sheep bah. noises? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Party's like, stop that. But you're all headed for the port of Vritinus, and you'd best be careful. What, what is that that is Cedro and Puck are saying? They're saying, uh, Lungeon, then. Give that up and stick with Elf Dimension style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This place that they're going to, the port, it's becoming the military hmm. base for several allied countries. Armies from the lands under the Holy Sea keep gathering. Lovely. Okay. So, a big war against the Kushan. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, big world, world movements and stuff like that. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um... Midland has no real ruler. That's right, because, yeah, 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 Charlotte's disappeared. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Oh, and Guts having this feeling of ownership in some ways to Midland, you know? Being like, what? Midland will disappear? I just took advantage of their hospitality some. A long, A long time, time ago. ago. Wow. Oh, guts. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, I forgot. If you're going that way, watch out. Spe especially around the mountain pass. What, old man? Bandits or something? Better if it were, but it ain't humans up there. It's trolls. Oh. Okay. Okay, all right. Hold all on, right. Zaldrix of the 100 bits. Griffith story. I'm basically Jesus. I win every battle and everyone loves me. Guts. Everyone hates me. I'm being haunted by Dog Monster, and I just want to take a nap. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's too real. Zaldrick to the 100 bits again. Thank you so much. It's trolls. I hear they say Griffith did nothing wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, basically. Hey, Roddy, <laughs> Rob Booty, thank you so much for the 300 bits. It begins. Oh, boy. Well, right. yeah, that's the end wow. of the, uh, that's the end of the volume. Woo. Oh, my God. I gotta say, I gotta say, the 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 squad coming together is my favorite new development. Yes, like, and and like, well timed it gives me, too. It because... gives me so much hope uh, because we were just about to go into like uh, really really dark. We did do not want stuff, and and I do uh, not want. I do yeah, not want like just guts. This is this mm, is see, to be that, see okay. Mm. Here's the thing. There's a parallel here. Yes, yes the band of the hawk was formed up again with Griffith, right? Right. It's not the true band of the hawk. No, but this is actually the closest thing to the band of the hawk in that it's a time for characters to heal, both guts yep. and Casca, hopefully. Yes. Um, and you know, oh, re man. rediscover the power of Nakama and all of that. Seriously. Oh boy. Yeah, so far Guts found some new friends, comparing them to the OG Band of the Hawk. These guys get so much more development that it makes me think the Band of the Hawk were written just to be sacrifices. Well, you know what? I mean, I mean like in a lot of, of ways, it's it's something that, um, mm. it, it's something that that specifically, while yes, you can write characters specifically to be killed, mm -hmm. it, it's something that when you write those characters and the fact that they gave them characterization and stuff that's something that you know you don't have to do for those characters that were just you know made to be sacrificed in a lot of ways casca mm -hmm. you know had her whole you know just trauma going on in the eclipse and stuff and yet they gave her in some ways like 
more development than than like anyone else and yet she's still around in the story but she's not saying anything right she's uh-huh. not yeah 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 she's barely like you know conscious barely has right a, so an individual you know and one other thing one other thing i would say it's also important is mm-hmm. that um Mira's gotten better as the story's gone on. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, something, especially with all those hiatuses that he takes, right? A lot sure. of time has passed since the beginning of Berserk. Yeah. So, you know, it it makes sense that the characters would be more fleshed out than the uh, original Band of the Hawk. For sure. Especially since he had to set up Guts and Griffith and everything. Yeah. Someone was saying, go back and read some of the stuff with Sonya at the battle there. Mm. When she fires the arrows to... Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, gotcha. This is her talking here. Oh! The life force blanketing a battlefield is in constant fluctuation like blood that flows and stagnates. Our opening lies along a direct vector. Its vertex is the heart of the enemy's will. Lord Griffith. Okay. Wow. Gotcha. Okay, that's good. Thank you for. Yeah, thank it's, you for that. it's yeah. hard when it's in black and white to distinguish all the time the differences between the characters. And also who is talking sometimes. Right, exactly, yeah. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you don't. It seems to me that it's not pain that Farnese gets off on its power. She was doing pretty much whatever she could to make herself feel powerful. Then guts made her realize just how weak she is and how pathetic she had been doing. Sure. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 also true for sure. Um, uh, and Jacob's fanfic of Zod plus guts, guts brotherhood, brotherhood is the, is best, the best fan theory I've, I've ever heard. heard. Craig Asim, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This volume is just how badly Griffith ruined their lives, no matter how much awesome things he did uh, now on to impress his autistic followers. Jeez. Uh, Farnese in the forest was recalling her childhood with her bunny plushie cowering under the covers of her bed. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. So the fact, yeah, that she was trying to get a, a, a rabbit and then, yeah. That's not at all ironic. <laughs> Trolls, oh my god, guts and party ended up in a YouTube video comment section. <laughs> Jeez. So just to explain something that seems like wasn't understood properly, reread the scene with Lord Mule re-entering the battle before being shot by arrows, now realizing he's hearing the voice of Sonya in his head and that Sonya is literally a bird eye view for Griffith with what she talks about with vectors and whatnot. Dang, okay. Uh. Wow. Oh yeah, the guts look was disappointed, disappointed right, in right. Farnese. It wasn't so much a well, cute well, family but, moment. But here's well, the thing. I wasn't, I wasn't saying You're... that he was looking at it as a cute family moment. I was looking at it as a cute well, family moment, and I still look at it as a cute family moment. Right. Here's why. Yeah, guts was disappointed for sure, mm-hmm. but he didn't say anything. Yeah, exactly. He didn't say anything. Yep. Because there yep. was there was understanding there. The idea that you know she she let Casca out of her sight, which was a huge you know mess up on her part, right? But that she was out all night, well, not necessarily trying to find her. You know, she tried to and then maybe ended up just right. s- trying to wait it out. Um, but, but he's the- acknowledging that everything is okay, basically. Exactly. So that, he goes back yeah, to the that, camp. That she, he knows that she cared about her mistake. He doesn't need to say anything. Right. You know, yeah. In a lot of ways, he's too tired. He's too exhausted right. to deal with that kind of drama. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I love that. I still, yeah. Yeah, Farnese literally became like ten times prettier when she cut her braids off. I would tend to agree. It could also have to do with her mm-hmm. character arc and where she's at as a person now too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Salo <laughs> Ghost with the one thousand bits. Thank you so much. Thank you. The new band of the Hawk, a barbarian right hand man with a giant sword, a stoic giant with a hammer, a dark haired cynic that does newcomer training, a female heart that coordinates movements. Oh, and a naive young boy he just recruited. Familiar much? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Dang. Dang. I didn't look at it that way. Yeah. I didn't look at it that way at all. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. And that's actually a good point to be reminded that Pippin was probably half giant. 
Like the oh the yeah, he that, totally could have been. Like like he he probably was half giant. Like it's just something to slowly sh- you know foreshadow that there mm-hmm. are you know people I mean, out there. That, there were other there were other people in there that didn't seem to be related to giants in any way that right. were very huge. But yeah, but yeah, mm-hmm. Oof. y'all this this was a good volume. And the thing is, is that this volume started off, I would say, you know, a little edgy and just kind of dealing with guts kind of hitting his wits end. Yeah. I think that, I think that that having, uh... having the, I got to find the image specifically of the thing before he realizes he's dreaming. Okay. Okay. So it comes out of the fire in uh-huh. a lot of ways, like the demon child. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the the child that. Well, and also bore. also you could say with the whole analogy of the campfire of dreams, mm-hmm. that was a very real thing. So anytime they show a campfire and stuff, and the idea that his dream is now this this mm-hmm. ravenous murderous instinct. Yeah. So this thing comes up to him. Mm-hmm. It starts small, right? Oh. It starts off really tiny. Yeah. Then it starts to uh, infect his mind with this, and it grows. It gets bigger. Sure. It gets stronger. Yeah, and then it's this giant thing. Mm-hmm. And then it starts to uh, get yeah. shivers, pred it yeah. upon yeah, yeah, Casca. Yeah, uh-huh. But then he wakes up and thinks that it's just these incubi, right? Right, right, and he kills them. Kills them all. But then later we find out, no, this is actually a thing you need to deal with, Okay. Right. You know, the things are possessing him and exacerbating it, mm-hmm. but it's still a thing that is uh. is within him. So yeah, yeah. here's something yeah. that I've always wondered about the eclipse, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what is it that gives Guts basically this struggler... I break right. the... It's probably this thing to some extent. Yeah. Like, the fact that he's able to keep going and not die. Like, it's kind of, like... I mean, I would say it's not new, but Berserk no. is so old that, right. you know, whatever. And the fact that it's something that isn't isn't in, isn't obvious, right? right? You can kind of forget about it, which is nice, because then it's something that more plays along the themes than as for any kind of, like, more more specific plot stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Well, at least until now. Um, but, yeah. And then it also could be something that maybe, like, like is it something that Guts always had? Is it something that latched onto him during the eclipse, you know? Yeah. Like, because that, to- that could totally be a thing. In, um, in some ways, what I, what I think about it is that the way Guts was born, even. Just think mm-hmm. about, just think about the way that Guts had to survive the wolves and you know the whole thing with uh, Donovan and mm-hmm. all that. If anything, this is something that I think has just been a slow burn over time. Okay. And it's just been the constant threat of danger and darkness and demons attacking him and stuff that slowly over time his soul has mm-hmm. become in a lot of ways corrupted. Right. It's not that it's some separate entity. It's a facet of who he is given form because of how much demons and right. stuff everything around. he's been through and all the yeah right. stuff so that's going it's on. just something that's given a little bit more of a carnal representation because of how present spirits are like he's killing ghosts right. with a sword yeah so you'd think that his own spirit would have some kind of mm-hmm. you know ugh. yeah oh <sighs> yeah yeah uh uh, Salo goes, thank you so much for the 100 bits. The thing is usually named the Beast of Darkness. Cheering a bit more today as I missed the last few streams. Well, hey, thank you so Thanks. much. Yeah, the yeah. the thing had... Um, and I think they did that... Oh, they the brought beast. it up. They brought it yeah, up yeah. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. It was it was, it was was more than a few volumes ago. But, but like, did they name it? I think they named it. But the thing is, is that we didn't know how, how relevant it was. Right, because the way it was seemed, before, it seemed it didn't like show up again after that. Well, and and when it showed up, it didn't have any real consequences. It was just like this, like this it, lurking thing. Like it, know? like it could be this impressionistic representation of Guts's rage, right. as opposed to something that actively predates and twists his rage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. for sure. Yep. Uh huh. Let's go oh. through some more. Let's go through comments. some more comments. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, um yeah we know we've seen the dog before yeah yeah 
<laughs> All this talk of Band of the Hawk makes me miss the OG best boy judo. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> when they refer to the soldiers as giant, they were simply saying they were giant humans, not alluding to an actual race of giants. So yeah, well, the thing well, is, is that... But yeah, but the thing is, is that like, okay, when, when people are on horseback and they come up to your waist... Yeah. Um, there's a... Okay, there's a certain limit that I will basically not like allow Mira to go in like an absolute sense, but in my own interpretation of what I'm presented with um, before I'm just like, yeah, this is something that is, you know, non human probably in some way, shape or form. Right. Uh, for the record, Grimbeld has red eyes and hair. The archer has a purple hat and brown and green clothes and Locus has yellow eyes. Gotcha. Okay. Good, Good to know. know. It's not really a big deal, but it's, something i guess we would never know reading mm -hmm. the manga you know uh yeah yeah the, oh, after the last uh the lost children arc that's when it talked for the first time the beast thing okay right. cool oh what did we think of the art improvement it was I really mean, good during the battles fantastic the battles it just went into god tier territory right i almost feel like i don't appreciate like i don't know enough about art in order to appreciate the improvements in art because I just come to expect the art in Berserk to be absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's it's primarily a thing where you have all these things where they try to showcase emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, motion, not emotion. Right, right. And it just goes into this area of where, like, the fact that I can kind of understand what's going on, even in the slightest, it just mm -hmm. blows me away. But yeah, there's way more double panels, yep. way more, like, big full page shots. My my favorite parts though are still still quiet moments where they'll where they'll go into a lot of detail and stuff there, like because because it's almost like there's so much detail in the in the combat scenes that yeah. I it's hard to appreciate you know yeah it's hard to um, keep track of it all yeah 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 this stuff with Griffith at the end was was pretty crazy yeah and you know every time Zod was shown yeah because it was also Zod it also got really amazing. dark this volume in terms of like things that was happening yeah. with Casca and stuff. And yes, uh, while it was pretty depressing and disturbing, the art was really good when um, that was happening. Yeah. So yeah. Because what I was what I was hoping would happen in that scene, but of course it's berserk. So you know why why have it go happily? Mm -hmm. Is that Guts would just hold her and be like, "It's okay, it's okay," you know, and that and that would be that would be that and. And that maybe that would be his his own way of being able to kind of reverse protect her in a way that yeah. he want, that he wished he was able to during the eclipse because you know the eclipse is brought up and you know and he's still there for her yeah um, but yeah guts was really emotive <sighs> this volume yeah mm. in uh, ways that weren't just in the dark stuff but in also yes. like things throughout it as well so yeah. I'm really impressed yeah. with that mm -hmm. um. Let's see what else we got here. Griffith bringing back the dead to talk to their families only to send their souls back to the vortex all just to impress some peasants. Yep. Yeah. Yep. As the black swordsman guts nurtured that rage apparition real good. Remember his line? Black it out. He came to rely on it. Dang, yeah. Uh no, I'm not I'm holding I'm I'm downloading and keeping all the volume VODs for Berserk and stuff. But I'm going to release them when we get um, a way to make them be a little bit more presentable and stuff. Um, Are you Team Bone Daddy or Team Fur Daddy? Oh my Slow gosh. Slow camp from 100 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Both. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in both teams. Yeah. If, if anything, I am more excited for uh, Skull Knight to give more kind of history lessons yeah, and stuff I, i'm excited for skull knight to be more of a character is the yes thing because exactly zod gets a lot more chances to that because he's in such a contradictory like mm -hmm. position but <laughs> the thing is is with with bone daddy he's usually there for the plot important moments you know give good exposition which is awesome and the world building is great and i love it yeah and the, but then he'll disappear and it's like oh okay you know Oh, yeah, so the chapter was called The Beast of Darkness when it showed up. Oh, it's objects of the 100 bits, Bone Daddy. Yeah. Um, what would you rank Griffith as an antagonist in fiction? You mean, where would we rank him? Well, would, I, I would rank him... to define the ranks before we know what we rank him. I would rank him with a decapitation 
drawn and quartered the rack and then maybe burn think, the body just to be yeah, safe. I don't think he's that rank. I think he probably smells pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you might smell some sulfur on him, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, Gunbeld isn't really just a big guy like Pippin. He's big, big. Oh, yeah. When they showed him comparison to the yeah. cavalry. Yeah, he that... was like 20 feet tall. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, to be fair, we saw a huge guy like that back in the first volumes in the Black Swordsman arc. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Considering we have elves and now trolls and had some other creatures shown sporadically before, this giants don't seem like a stretch. Yeah. Right, right. What we're saying is that there's oh, yeah, something on dark. Yeah. There's something that specifically is where the show tries to blend the line between humans and these other creatures, and people are saying like, "No, those are humans." Like, no, we get that they are, they are, they look like humans for the most part, but humans don't grow to be 20 feet tall right that because, just doesn't happen so allow us our fantasy mm -hmm. race thing if you will not saying right. that there's a an actual race of them or something it's just saying that like at the, the berserk least, world is weird the berserk world is yeah. weird mm -hmm. and those aren't regular people exactly yeah um pretty sure the war demons are just apostles following griffith like Zod. yeah yeah, yeah but, that's yeah that's the other thing a i'd lot say of, that's pretty straightforward yeah it's pretty straightforward there but we don't need explanations on a lot of those things there we will make commentary though being like that's not a regular human exactly, because that's yeah. kind of an important thing in berserk as a show um beast also appeared when guts went back to goto and casco was gone it appeared by the campfire i remember uh, that yeah, yeah. dang um, I really like how Mira draws faces and more specifically how he draws beautiful people more specifically with Griffith his beauty now more than ever is sharper and unnatural you look at him and he's beautiful in the same way a sharpened knife would be before the eclipse his features were rounder and would only sharpen during battle but now oh. it's like he's sharp all the time well that just goes to show that nice. he's cast aside his humanity Jojo you know yeah. because there's there's no more derp faces right um make a vod dump channel in the meantime we're thinking about it but yeah not sure yet um as an artist mira is nuts along Berz although berserk isn't always the close the cleanest manga line art wise his style is so awesome he's still my second favorite manga artist dang, dang. that's that's legit um Skullite is just stoic. It's weird. He's clearly not a paladin, but he acts lawful good to some extent. Right. That's an interesting way to look at it. He yeah. is kind of lawful good. Or, or maybe lawful well, neutral. Well, yeah, it's, it's just that we've never seen him do anything that would show that he's not good. Like, he saved... Um, shoot, what was her name? Um, yeah, yeah. Remember? She thought this was like she was dead and the, the, right. she was uh, going to get... Uh, Luca. Luca, yeah. He saved yeah. Luca. Oh, that's right. And I still ship Luca and uh, Skull Knight. Oh, my gosh. That's where he is. <laughs> I think the hiatus he takes are due to fatigue. Too much good art. I definitely... I could definitely see that happening. That. <laughs> I rank Griffith with some good old napalm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Nice, nice. Oh, man. Uh, I think the message are too far up now and they don't seem to have been read, but Sonya never fired the arrows at Mule. She telepathically warned him of the stray arrows coming his way. Well, that's kind of an interpretation thing. Oh, sure. I guess we did but assume that. Does make yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 we totally did assume that because, um, right. Yep, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um,. We still haven't reached peak Mira art yet. Well, that's that's impressive. Wow. That's that's impressive. How dare how dare you forget Nina? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh All right. Oh, uh, so want to check volume 1 through 4 for art comparison now? Uh Yeah, I mean that maybe not now but right not not right now but like yeah, yeah but, i can imagine it would be it yeah the yeah difference would, well the the main thing that i think of is when when uh guts is fighting zondark and zondark has basically a tentacle arm and it's just like the just right. like you know lines going just everywhere dashes, basically right right um 
And, How much of yeah. that do you think is him basically pr- pushing himself forward because of the popularity of Berserk? Potentially, and he's got like a reputation to uphold at this point. Kind right, of so he keeps trying to outdo himself. Well, but I could totally see that being a thing because it's like when your art is that good, like you don't make art that good if you're not passionate about it. And I'm talking about like yeah. the early Berserk art, right? Yeah. So the fact that he's gotten better is probably because he likes making great art. And he's like, yeah, I can I can do a little bit better. I'm, I've gotten better. I can do a little right. bit better. I can do a little bit better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that that, that would be. I mean, it, in just, between, just in between crazy playing Idol Master or whatever it is. Yeah, it'd just be crazy to think that he's actually like still getting better to where it's noticeable by plebs like us, like in terms of yeah. art. Like that's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can definitely see the improvement. I mean, you can definitely see the quality probably on a relook uh-huh. through previous volumes this and stuff. Is, yeah. But it's something where, again, this isn't my forte, mm-hmm. so I just have to kind of, like, be like, oh, yeah. no, I noticed that this looks good. I really like the way this looks. Right. Like, One of the things that I've kind of wondered, because, like, okay, there's all the art for battle lines that's being done, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, oh, my God, it's amazing. And one of the things that it makes me wonder is, like, how feasible would it be to actually make a comic with art of, like, different levels of, like, detail and quality and stuff? And it would just be stupid to pay someone to do it. Like you would have to be doing it yourself and put in the extra sweat and equity and stuff because otherwise it would, it would just be absolutely ridiculous. Like the, the amount of money you would have to pay someone to, to get art near this level. Like, oh, yeah. Fun fact. Hiatus has started with next volumes chapters. They were short and volumes caught up in about two years with the hiatuses. And then the real ones started. Whoa. Gotcha. Oh, yes, I did know that Iraqi has art in the Louvre. Yes, I did know that. Did, uh, did you yes. know that? Yeah, yeah, I, I think okay, I heard cool. about that. Um, I, at first, I thought they were saying Mura has art in the Louvre, and I was like, oh, you know. But, yeah. No, I think they were saying up here that Mura deserves to have art put, yeah, Mesco one, put art, Berserk art in a museum already. Uh-huh. JoJo's got in the Louvre at some point, so come on. Oh, wait, it might actually be a bit too brutal for the Louvre. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Mm-hmm. His art gets way better. Some double pages will make you lose your breath. Oh, wow. dang. Okay. Wow. Oh, whoa. Salo goes with the 100 bits. Mira is rumored to have a very special deal with his publisher that basically said, I want to make a perfect product, and I get the time to do this. So he basically has freedom to schedule chapters as he pleases since 2006. Holy crap. Dang. That's when you know you haven't made. That's when you have, like, unlimited yeah. power. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. For 30 years already right whoa yeah whoa indeed yeah you'd improve over 30 years i would think jeez i wonder if that's the deal with his publisher then how much money is he getting paid then is it just Who in knows? royalties basically where he gets paid a percentage of the you know the the manga sales or is he getting paid also on a salary kind of basis it's probably both like that seems a bit extreme. I think right? it's I think it's probably royalties at this point. Like okay, so yeah. it it doesn't because just like I mean not even with the new Berserk manga, but just like Berserk as a manga, like you know previous work and stuff. Like it's so dang popular at this point. I just hope you know? he's. I just hope he's in a place where he still like, you know, wants to finish this. Right. Because I've heard I've heard tales of you know the the legendary boat meme. And things oh, about uh-huh. how he's like, he really enjoys his hiatuses sometimes. Well, right. And like, that's one of the things I wonder about. Because one of the reasons why I'm like, like Battle Lines, for instance, is a standalone book. Right. Because I, I get worried about the notion of starting a story and having it be awesome and then getting tired of the story, basically. Because since you're always progressing as a writer, like Mira channels it into his artwork, right? Fantastic. Awesome. Right. But with something like a book, maybe that wouldn't, it, it, it would showcase in a different way. But like, imagine getting tired of your own story and thinking, if I started a story, just a fresh story, I could do a better one. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Zaldrix with the 100 bits. Idol master jokes aside, many mangaka get severely sick and sometimes die from being overworked, Mira slowed down as he got older for, for his health as well. as well. I could imagine. Yeah, that makes sense. That like, I know, I know sure. most manga artists do not have the same, like, work levels as Oda. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've seen Oda's schedule. And if manga artists are even, like, doing 
two thirds or half of what he's doing. It's like, yeah, yeah, Oda's, that would Oda's that, terrifying. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I think I heard in an interview that Mira actually took a break to break due to Berserk being so freaking sad. I could definitely see yeah. that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, usually 90s contracts, it's both a small percentage of royalties and a monthly stipend. Gotcha. Okay, that, that makes sense. He gets big royalties for vol volumes. Uh, tank of bonds. Tank of bonds. Okay, gotcha. Okay. There was a point when Oda only slept three hours a night. Jeez. Holy crap. That is nuts. <laughs> Watch Bakuman for those answers. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, and then you have Oda, who is forced to take breaks so he doesn't work himself into an early grave. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. Say look at the 100 bits. Mira's reputation is basically the epitome of an artist with a desire for perfection instead of someone who works to just make their living. Someone said that the the magazine basically gets a 50% bump in sales whenever uh, a Berserk, Berserk chapter comes, comes out. out. Jeez. That's <laughs> wow. I I believe it. I yeah. definitely believe it. Mhm. Mm I yeah, cuz this guy y'all like this is this is this is it's good stuff. Manga. Yeah. Manga. Wow. Oh. I, I think we're gonna be spoiled forever, Jacob. Like Yeah, I think know. we might have made a mistake. Maybe. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna wrap things up here. And Last go thing. try and like pick ourselves up emotionally after Seriously. this volume. I always Holy eat food crap. after Berserk to kind of stress reduce, oh. you know, things. Uh, generally see Pat with the one hundred bits. We need to get Mira the Egg of the King so that he'll live to finish Berserk. Hashtag at any cost. cost. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Take my energy. <laughs> yes, everyone lend your energy to Mira Senpai. All right. We'll see you all uh, hopefully uh, Thursday for the, yeah, the, yeah, the original Thursday. Sin 2 co-op stream. Right. But just remember, daylight savings because yep. America's stupid. So yep. Make sure you line it up with 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Right, or, and or then, Pacific Daylight Time, technically. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight or Standard Time for mm -hmm. uh, The Witcher 3. Yes. And then Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Podcast. Podcast. And then back again here next week for more Buzz. Uh -huh. And yeah. <sighs> It's gonna be uh gonna be wow. awesome. This is this is getting nuts. Griffith is uh enacting his uh Keikaku and uh we'll get to see uh more about what that's all about. So, yeah. So y'all, we'll see you uh later. later. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time. Oh, oh. This volume, holy crap. You're going to eat some even big grasses, right? Like, I can't imagine how depressed Mira must get writing this stuff. Because, like, yeah, holy seriously. hell. <laughs> but what about battle lines? <laughs> so, so battle lines are BL, the book that I'm writing. Um, it's not quite as depressing.